yeah. Bring it up. Bring it down. Bring it all around. Heater. Shit. <laughs> Spill a little water. That's okay. Just a little bit. Um, what is up? Hello, welcome to the live stream. We're back again. Why do... <laughs> you know what's crazy? I feel like YouTubers have intros, right? Like, I'm pretty sure I said, what the... what? What's going on, guys? My name is Jared Cohen. For like 10 years. Do streamers have intros? I feel like I've said the same thing for 10 years. Surprise! We're live! I don't know. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed your... Tuesday? Is today Wednesday? Today's Wednesday. It's Ash Wednesday. I know that because my calendar alerted me. So glad I don't have to go to church no more. But it's cool if you do. That's fine. I'm just saying I didn't love that. Um, glad you liked the Top Clips video. Smitty just starts his stream halfway through the game. Yeah, I know. No, it's not. It's not Ash Wednesday. Or is it? No, it is. 100%. 50%. I'm pretty confident. Yeah, it's Ash Wednesday. Have you seen Cats the Broadway show? Have I seen the movie? Yeah, I made an, uh, a specific effort to go and watch Cats the movie before they edited out all of the dick lines in the spandex. Um, we went to an Alamo draft house and we... Um... Nope, can't play that song. What happened to this dude? Um, we, uh, sorry, I'm just trying to make sure that I'm good. Cool. We made an effort to go see it because I knew it would be bad. Everybody knew it would be bad. And there's a place called Alamo Draft House, which I think exists in the south and the west and they serve alcohol at their showings and they have specific showings where they um put on movies they know are awful like really bad the room um cult classics like that i i they did it for cats as well it's called like a rowdy showing and the whole point is like you know when you go see a movie and you hate people that are talking and you hate people that are doing whatever the whole point of the rowdy showing is like there aren't really rules you can laugh loudly you can like boo you can do whatever it's just like you're there to experience the shit show with people and so we went and saw cats they they handed out little like i saw cats at the alamo draft house keychains but their specific cats oriented alcoholic beverage was a white russian served in a saucer which i was like yeah so it's just like, it was really good. It was really fun. That movie, I would never watch that movie again. It was so bad and so cringy, but like, it was great to do it that way. And I would totally do that again. Um, but yeah, I, I, God, that movie sucked. Peep the TikTok I sent. Uh, I will after stream. I don't feel like looking at it right now. Um, terrible movies are more fun with friends, true. I did lap it up like a cat, I think, a little bit. Uh, Galaxy, thanks for the five months CM short. Think of the 55. Jackal, think of the six. You just didn't understand cats. That was like one of the few movies, I'm sorry, few Broadway shows no, that's a lie. I don't like musicals. I think they're awful. Somebody redeemed a band. My bad. Oh, they did. Shazana. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't pay attention. You've been getting bopped far too much. Anyways, 07's in the chat. Shazana. 
Shazada's only messages in the last year are requesting a ban, so that's pretty chatted, honestly. Hey, Mr. Mode. Small note, your latest Top Clips video should have been Jan Feb instead of Feb March. <laughs> Fuck, you're right. <laughs> Damn, yeah, you're correct. Yeah, I don't know why. Because it's March now. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. Set a reminder to change video title tonight at 9. A clip is in it twice. Amateur hour. This is what happens when I don't edit. I mean, this is what happens when I do edit my own videos now. Like, I mean, that's those are all my fault, you know? Like, I put those together, so I'm like, mm -hmm, okay, fuck it. Professional YouTuber, by the way. No longer, bro. I ain't make shit off YouTube. I make more money on Twitter ads than I do on YouTube. YouTube's dead for me. Unless, hey, if you're listening, YouTube algorithm, if you want to keep putting people onto, like, the Tim Tatman video. YouTube, here's the brilliance of YouTube and of Twitch, all right? YouTube exists in a ma in a manner where if you know or understand the way to at least improve your odds of getting algorithmically recommended, whether it's watch time or everybody always claim like there's no guarantee. Nah, fuck you. The algorithm changes quite often. And if you find the new way to farm interaction that the algorithm prioritizes, your channel will literally print money without you doing fucking anything. Example, the Tim the Tatman video. That video was fun. I thought it was a pretty good video. It was also twice as long as any video that I normally put out, and it had a lower click-through rate of all the videos that I put out on YouTube. However, YouTube recommended it to 50% of the views. So that's where all those views went through, and I was like, word, cool. Like, if you could just do that with every one of my videos, I'd have a quarter million views on every video. Like, why is this so hard? So it's just one of those things where, like... YouTube sucks because you have to like constantly play the game and like it's almost a full-time job to try and figure out what works and what doesn't work. Meanwhile, Twitch, on the other hand, there's no recommended. It is only based off of how many people are watching you. So the only thing you can do on Twitch is work more. Both of these platforms don't work together that well. Could you say fuck? Nah. Tim's a content farming machine right now? Yeah. Somebody told me that Cloaksy also did a GeoGuessr. If uh, there's a VOD of that, I will absolutely go through and do it. I'm not going to run this idea into the ground, but, like, listen, if you give me 150,000 views after I have struggled to break, a, like, fucking 50,000 views, like, yeah, I'm going to do it. I don't care. I'll make fun of Cloak. I'll make fun of Tim. I draw the line in the sand when I start trying to, like, like make jokes about people I don't know. Like, they're big boys. They, they get it. Or I do run into the ground and then, you know, we all, we all win here. Check Mizkiff's YouTube channel. He farms so many people for thumbnails. I know. That's, that's just YouTube though. Like, I'm not mad at the game. I've just stopped giving a shit. <laughs> Wait, never mind. I didn't realize it was this bad. So, 10 <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, I could probably take a, I could probably take a, a page from this book, bro. Every thumbnail is just a giant. Oh my god, he's farming views. And they're all, fourteen minutes long. These are like ideal YouTube titles. She tries to fix me. Who the fuck is she? She introduces me to Tyler One. Who the fuck is she? Letting her come over was a mistake. Who's her? Who's she? Who is she? Who's she? Who's her? Who's she? Who's that girl? Who's she? Who's she? Who's, who's she? There's so many she's. 
Nobody has a name! She! Her! Alright, that's it. Haley, I gotta farm you for content! Get up here! I don't have anybody over. There's nobody down there. Um... <laughs> it's only one she. <laughs> it's just this one person that's like permeated Ms. Gifts content. The wildest night of my life. Yeah, I just need to stop caring. Ms. is actually super entertaining. I watch Ms. I do not watch Ms. YouTube, but I watch Ms. Tips for first-time streamers? Give up. Never commit to anything. If I give you advice, you become my direct competition. I encourage you to fail. Um, did you vote for the streamer awards? No, I haven't yet. Let's do it. Minecraft coal miner? <laughs> Thanks for the prime sub. Hopefully I see you around for the next like 10 to 15 years before you die of the black lung. IOP, welcome back. 54, you're chunky. Eric, happy birthday. 36 months? Three years? Tucker sounding like he's sponsored by Artes Artesian Builds. Hot take, I don't have any sympathy for anybody. <laughs> this is my hot take. I literally don't care. It's your fault. I don't, what, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but it like, wh who takes that? That is like the most brain dead thing you could, like if you're going to victim blame, it's not victim blaming, all right? It's not. I. There's a difference between being abused and literally looking at the terms and uh, of your of your of your partner partnership and and saying yes, this is something that I gotta work with. This company is suspended for fraud. Wait, real? I don't believe that until you give me an article. Also, I don't know who he is. This is the artisanal guy? Um, oh, just taxes. Uh, it is, it is, it is a John Artesian. It is, it is a rite of passage and every business needs to make a mistake. You can, it is almost impossible for you to make a successful business if you never make a wrong turn at any point in time. It is almost routine, if not necessary for every person to make an awful sponsorship or partnership decision in order to learn from it. You guys just took a really bad one. I took a sponsorship with G Fuel before they were a gaming fuel company and I promoted pre-workout supplement. And then I left the company like nine months later cause like, holy shit, this is sketchy. Right? Like that was, I did machinima stuff. Like I, I like, I get it, but at the same time, you also have to recognize how fucking stupid it was. I recognize how awful it was to sign with those two companies, right? But like the whole, like there's a lot of uh, weird posturing and like feel good stuff with people being like tweeting like, I'll unfollow anybody that supports artisanal builds. Bro, shut up. Explain it like I've, I'm five artisan, whatever their name is. I don't know what it is. Bad branding. Basically, they would offer partnerships that would allow for people to promote the computer company's product, computers, with an info panel and some other stuff. In return, they would give that person a hundred to five hundred dollars discount on a computer build that they would put together. Um which is pretty standard for um, like very low level affiliate stuff. That's an awful deal. Is it though? Hon 
honest question is it though because i saw some people that were like i like i have 5000 plus followers on twitch and all they're offering me is $500 credit towards a PC build. Bro, that's way more money than you're going to get from a standalone sponsor. If, and this is a great if, if these are on equal terms. But the problem is that I'm seeing mid-tier streamers who bought into this. That's a good deal for the people that are like very small and starting out, right? The problem is that they did a giveaway for all the people that they had in that program, which they accepted like everyone, which, you know, that's 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 on them. And then the one that won had like too few followers. <laughs> and so they're like, we're not giving you the PC. To which I'm like, you, you gotta be so dumb. Like it, you have to be so, so dumb. Didn't meet the CEO's threshold. Like, you just tanked your company. What? I just was like looking at the fucking... <laughs> I was just looking at this like, wait a minute, hold on. Um, I, They're an OTK partner. I actually, I, I'm sure they're probably going to get dropped. They dropped them. There you go. I would not doubt it in the slightest. Okay. Um, Miz has a 10k PC for them that doesn't work half the time. Dude. I don't doubt it. I'm just saying there's a difference between... There's a lot of mid-size content create. I'm sorry. Smaller to mid-size... There's a lot of small full-time content creators. Is that a correct term? People that can live full-time on like 300 viewers that are really upset at the fact that they were duped into this branding um, while accepting a partnership that was very clearly laid out for them. But it, like, why'd you do it? Why? Like, like they outlined it. You said, yeah, but now that they're kind of like outwardly being scummy to smaller people, you're like, fuck, that was a bad idea. Like, I just don't, I just don't. They should be torched and like they should be torched. Nobody should work with that company. But I just don't get the like the insane amount of outpouring for s support of people who like should have a better understanding of the contracts that they sign because you do this for your living. Like you work full time and you do this. They have product designs that they rip from other companies. A GPU shroud design stolen from a company called V1 Tech. Bro, just wait till you hear about Razer and Elgato. You guys are going to lose your shit. And don't even get me started on Apple. I don't care about poaching products. I literally don't care. And nobody should. You, like, you're you're actually crazy if you care about I, company IP. Unless you own that IP, don't give a shit. All right? Whoever makes it better and cheaper, that's good. So, I mean, yeah, just wait till you hear about gaming chairs. Like... You 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 gotta understand that for a consumer present or like for consumers, the only thing you should ever want is the cheapest and best quality object. And the greatest way to do that is for people to poach others others like designs and products and work on it. Razor routinely upsells products that are just repack it. Oh, you know what? Let me take that back because I don't have a complete verifiable like link to that, and I don't want to slander anything. But uh, some of Razer's products that I have used have similar internal components to other products that have existed on the market for a while. There's nothing wrong with that. There's not. They were cheaper and they worked well. I don't work with Razer anymore, guys. But, like, you shouldn't, it's white, yeah, it's white label stuff. Like, you, you just, you gotta understand, this is like a normal thing. Apple repurposes a lot of innovations that Android has had for years as proprietary tech, or at least like new features. D bro, d um, Oracle, uh, Xeon, like early computer products, like all of Apple as a company built off of existing tech and stuff. Like the, all, this is like IP theft, or I'm sorry, IP inspiration is nothing new. So, like, don't... I would never point to that as, like, a sign of being scummy. That's just business. Right? That's just business. 
but you can absolutely point towards the business's treatment of the people that are working to promote them as scummy, which, oh my God, there's a master, there's like a master class in how Artesian handled this so bad. So bad. Stealing designs is just biz corpa. Yeah. That's why I'm like, like I need to make it clear because like I have no ill will from Razer. I'm using several of their products right now. You just don't know about them because they're not released. But like if you give it to me in a more convenient way, I don't care where I'm getting it from. Like my moral, I'm not moral. I'm not morally obligated to care about a company. Like a company is not a person. I don't care. Stop caring about companies, please. Just stop. All right, no loyalty. Just whoever does it better and more efficiently and more conveniently is who you should care about. It's just it. Like, just stop being. Eh. All right. No, you got to care about night mode. That's actually in, uh, completely essential. That's not a company. Uh, night mode is actually a conglomerate of community members, grassroots organized community members who are at the intersection of tech and music that seek to scale and build a environment in a community that really feeds back into the independent artists and make sure that everybody has a stake in what is the future of tech as a whole. <laughs> it's just like, where do I spend five ETH? I got you. <laughs> it's just so bad. <laughs> Pyramid scheme? A lot of business words. Oh my God. I have had a haunting amount of NFT talk in the last month with, with people. Like, oh man. It's so upsetting. I don't even, I, again, I got to clarify and non-fungible digital assets are a great idea. The way that everybody is implementing them right now is so fucking awful. God. RNG Sky, thank you for the 33 months. Crispy, thank you for the 16. Oh yeah, stream awards, my fault. I think I got nominated for one of these, not the stream awards. I think it was called like, what was it called? What was the one that was like the first? It was like a blue logo. Webby's, was it the Webby's? No, I don't, maybe it was this. No, I don't think it was the streamies. The streamies is the one I'm looking at. I tried to get you nominated. I'm glad you didn't. Only thing I want to be nominated for is some weird music gaming crossover thing. All right. I'm not, I am not at the level of that anymore. All right. Streamy awards. It was not the streamies. It was like a whale logo, I think almost, but this was like in 2015. Is it the YouTube Streamy Awards or wait? What am I voting on? Jason, thanks for the 41. Alex, thank you for the seven. Sit on my face. No. The stream or oh, that's it. This is such an awful website. What the fuck? Oh my God. What is happening to the background? Is this a real thing? Oh, this is Cutie's thing. Oh, guys, you got to tell me with this shit. I was thinking it was like eSports Award, like there's like an LA fucking auditorium being put together for this. You guys got to tell me this is like a streamer thing. You can't just like, like I'm thinking like the eSports Awards and I'm like, bro, there's no way. 
Like, there's no way. This is fine. Man, you guys make me feel like an asshole. You, you like, what the hell? This is fine. God. They're doing a ceremony in LA, too. Yeah, that's it's completely different than like uh, the streamies or like one of these like multi million dollar organizations doing this thing. She's making red carpet. It doesn't matter. This is one person doing this versus a team of 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 people raising funding. Completely different. Is it though? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. No, the award hold the same value. This award has the same value as earning a streamy. However, the production. Whatever. They literally don't have a sponsor. That's what I'm saying. Apparently, it's costing her two hundred thousand dollars. For what? This is a completely honest statement to rent the Belasco, which is a 1800 cap venue in LA. It costs around $10,000. A full scale live stream production team is about eight grand. I know because this is right down my alley. So that's $18,000 for the venue and live stream production. Food and booze are covered by the venue. There is a usual minimum ask, or if there isn't a minimum ask, then everybody is just, a, then if it's a free ticketed event, then you're paying for the amount of people in there, and then they earn additional revenue off of the bar and of the food. What? Hmm. This, I feel uncomfortable talking about this shit. Because, like, I don't know what her plans are. So, like, it's weird for me to try and give insight on something that nobody asked for. So, I'm just going to not do it. I hope it goes well. No matter what. Um, Because, you know, who doesn't like some good shit? You got to log in to vote? Yeah, I'll go for it. I just don't want to make anybody feel bad about anything. And I certainly don't want to make anybody feel like I'm attacking someone because that's not the case. Like, I'm just speaking strictly from trying to book a venue and set up an event on the music side of things is, is something that I have a lot of friends involved in and something I'm very in tune with. So that's why I'm like, man, I wonder if I'm getting weird info here. Bro, if it was if it was an open bar, 200k makes sense though. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> Mike, don't sue me. The monster cat E3 party that was at exchange had an open bar tab limit of 25k and that lasted till like 1 a.m. and that's a nightclub <laughs> like it's a lot of that's a lot of money okie dokie she's flying people in and paying for the safe for sure I don't care doesn't matter all right best battle royale streamer Nick Merckx, Lulu Lovely, Asu, and Imperial. Uh, I just did a thing with Lulu. She's great. Nick is definitely the most, like, prominent one. Asu's incredible, and I have no idea who this is. So, I'm going to vote for... Uh, hey, chat. Uh, hey, Siri, flip a coin. It's heads. Okay, going for Nick. Um, Best GPA RP streamer. Saikuno, Buddha, Fusli, XQC. So this is hard because I don't. Isn't Buddha the only main GTA RP streamer? 
Like, aren't the other ones just people that do variety streams that sometimes RP? Not that it's like a bad thing or a good thing or whatever, but yeah, pretty much great. It's Buddha. Sorry. Like, I love X and Fusli's nice, and I don't know much about Sekuno, but like, you give it to the person, that's their thing. I know X is on GTA RP a lot, but also, I think the award would matter more to Buddha than X. So here you go, Buddha. Like, that's where, that's literally, if the, if it is an equal standing, I'm giving it to the person I think would care more about it. So there you go. It's Buddha's time. Roleplay streamer, Raffle Gator, sir, Critical Role, Murder Crumpet. Ironically, Critical Role, ironically is not the right word. I believe Critical Role should win anything involving them because they are literally, they're a cut above. They are a Netflix tier production show, whatever. What is it, Seer, sir? I don't know, sorry, man. I don't know much about him. I do watch a little Raffle Gator, so I'm gonna vote for them. Um, and I know of Murder Crumpet, but not well enough. I think the only time that I see them is on like live stream fail and it's usually some stuff. Uh, Critical Role does have a animated series on Netflix, yeah. I can't remember what it's called, but people were spamming me about it for a while. I'm so far in the middle. Move me over. Um, best League of Legends streamer. I mean, I, I'm so biased here. First of all, it should be sneaky. Second of all, it's Lol Tyler. There's I I I I know these people, right? I was a big double of fan back in the day, and I know these two are great content creators, but Tyler is has been backpacking League of Legends and has the greatest character arc of all modern streamers ever. You don't go from being literally banned from the platform to being a host of the largest tournament in that game without being reformed. And also, you don't become challenger at every role without being actually broken as a human so i gotta give him the award because he needs something because <laughs> this man is gonna die at 36. i did want to vote for raffle gator critical role has a uh, million dollars a month coming into their account they don't need a fucking plastic item best fps streamer tens Terex. <laughs> uh best just chatting streamer I'm all right. Ms. Wubby Hassan Bruce. Um, so if I had gotten this far, I would have known that it was probably like a cutie Cinderella like group, etc. Um, which is fine. Um, I'm gonna vote Hassan. Like I'm not. This is not like a. This is this is on me. Like the only person that I watch Twitch of outside of anything is Hassan. And usually then it's just cause like, you know, something's going on. So I'm gonna go with the boy. Best VTuber streamer. All right, so this is, I mean, it's Code Miko for me, but it's only because I'm not involved in VTuber at all. And I think that what Code Miko has done is, what Code Miko does is a really, really, really good thing. Like the the package where she's got like technician, which is her. I mean, her, and then the full body suit, constantly working on the tech and stuff. Her interviews, her personality, all that stuff. She is the. If I had, if you were like, bro, if you have to mimic one person, who is it? It's Miko. But I know that Vibe and Nyaners and Iron Mouse are like the pinnacle of VTubing on stream, and I know they're all really dope traditional VTubers, uh, but I'm going to go with Miko just because I love her shtick. She's funny. Is Vi dating Soda? Or am I thinking of somebody else? Nyaners I watched throw a bunch of batteries into a lake in VR, and I was like, I don't, but all right. And Vi is funny, but... And Iron Mouse, I don't know much about, but like, again, I can't overlook how cool, technologically speaking, Miko's shit is. This is probably the closest. This? This?
This is definitely the closest, like, the most uniform group. Best strategy game streamer. Toast, Box Box, Northern Lion, Scara. I'm a Northern Lion simp, man. I can't, I can't hide it. I think he's hilarious. Obviously, Scara's a legend. Toast and Toast is, Toast is one of the greatest Among Us players of all time. I got to watch this fucker marinate a congresswoman, but in Box Box. Like I remember watching Box Box back when League in League days when he didn't even stream with a mic, he just played like Pandora music. So that's how you know you watched League early on. When all the big league streamers used Pandora as their music service. Anyways, Northern Lion wins here. I am I mean this one's a I'm sorry. I don't know what you want from me. Amaranth is a genius. There's an there's a billboard on the way to Vegas. That, that it, Amaranth has. I think I have a photo of it. Where are my screenshots? What the fuck? I swear to God, I saw. Oh, here we go. Look. Uh, it's going to be mirrored for you guys. It says Amaranth on OnlyFans, available 24 hours. <laughs> it's, a, it's like a 7 Eleven meme ad, but it's on a real billboard. And I'm like, I anybody who talks shit about Amaranth, or I'm like, you guys are idiots. This I'm this woman actually sat in a pool for 14 hours a day. I couldn't even if I was getting paid that much money. Anyway, she wins that. That's I mean, that's not even. I don't know who any of these other people are. Sorry. Ruthless businesswoman. <laughs> Best music streamer. Four color Zach. Um, Dead Mouse. T Pain wins this one, even though I'm gonna choose him because he's just a hilarious gamer and he does like he's a really fucking great guy. I love him as a person. Um, he's gonna win because he's he like I know Lily's great. Seth Drums is also dope. I have no idea who this person is, but there are there are. This is not a good category. There are some very pivotal people in the music space that are streaming on Twitch that deserve recognition, whether it's Fantano or Kenny Beats or Mike fucking Shinoda, but this is not that type of award show. This is a Cutie Cinderella's award show and that's fine. She gets to choose, they get to choose whatever the fuck is going on and that's fine. So it's not a question of that. T-Pain wins here. But, yes. If I had to choose a, a category, it would be like like Mike Shinoda from Linkin Park, um, Kenny Beats, one of the hottest producers right now, Dead Mouse, one of the largest and most prolific EDM people out there, fucking Matt Heafy from Trivium, um, who streams almost every day. Uh, and then and then I'd say like there are some like really cool independent people who jump in there. Best chess streamer, Botez. Uh... I got to do work with the Botez sisters and they were really, really nice. I also got to do work with Gotham Chess and he was also really, really nice. I have no concept of this dude outside of the fact that I saw one live stream fail video of him like having a shoving match. I'm going with Botez sisters. The people with the most nominations were chosen. In fact, mo the people were chosen were trolling and nominated Forsen for each category. Chat nominated who got to be on here. Perfect. That's cool. I wish I had known that. So yeah, these are fine. So this is really like a viewer's choice award for that group. I like this. I think Twitch needs more of this shit. Also, I really think that somebody should give 
cutie a Squarespace code. What the fuck is this line break here? Um. Oh, this is like a segment line break. Never mind. That's fine. I'm wrong. I'm in the wrong here. Um, best IRL streamer, Jake and Bake. Big fan. He was streaming to Singapore. I've been following Jake for a while. Jake's a good dude. Also, he's definitely like one of the more like savvy IRL streamers. I don't know about Rob. I know of Ginny and Hachubby. I also know of, but I'm going to go with the person that I know. Best speedrunner. Simply. I'm not super deep into this, but I'm going to vote for Simply on this shit. Um, I'm sure a lot of people will go... Wirtrall isn't a speedrunner, isn't he? Well, that'd be like calling like Witwicks a speedrunner. Like, yeah, I'm sure they do it, but... It'd be like calling Northern Line a speedrunner because he's trying to PB Super Smash 60... Or, Sma or fucking Super Mario 64. You think Smallin's going to be a, a dark horse? I'm, I have no idea who that is or this person. I only know these two. Calling a summit summon a speedrunner because of Max Payne, yeah. Best Super Smash Bros. streamer! It goes to the kid! I was never not gonna vote for Mango. Sorry, brother. It's just not, it's just not. It's just not, this is not a, this is the, <laughs> this is just the easiest one ever. Um, I don't know who you could possibly throw in here to upseat Mango. It's not that Leffen isn't legendary or Hungry Box isn't great. I would have loved to see Zane in here too, but like you just, like if you're engaging the Smash community. Oh, this is every Smash. Did Zero get cancer or, or something? Isn't Zero the best ultimate person? Yeah, he did. All right. Noted. I'm just not up to speed on that. Uh, Yeah, I mean, maybe you'd put Critical in. If you wanted to make this competitive, it would have to be Ludwig, Critical, Mango, and like... Hungry Box and Leffen have the same tab. <laughs> and Mewtwo King. It'd be, have to be like Mewtwo King, Hungry Box, Leffen as one selection. Ludwig, Critical, and Mango. And even then it would probably be split three ways and Critical would lose. It's just like, Smash is such a clicky thing. I'm gonna vote for Mango. Mango's my favorite dude. Um, Minecraft streamer. Forsen. I mean, I hope Forsen wins here because I'm, be I'm saying this unironically. I have no idea who Ranbu, Tubbo, and Tommy in it are as humans, right? And I actually don't know. I've never met Forsen, so I don't know. But I really appreciated watching Forsen and X go back and forth um, with their speedrun stuff. And it was like to the point where I realized, all right, you get my vote. Best MMORPG streamer. As well, uh, I Asmin is the best MMO RPG streamer. S Fan has the best content of somebody who does MMO RPG streams. Who do I choose for here? <laughs> it's just like I love S Fan's Madden, like like uh, his like the same shit that we do with Bonera. He does to a step above. I like S Fan a lot. I don't watch Asmin, but I recognize that he is the pinnacle of MMORPG. Hey Siri, flip a coin. Heads. All right, Asmin wins. Valorant streamer. I don't know any of these people besides Pokey and Jade. And I is Pokey a Valorant streamer? At a certain point, you become so large that you can't be quantified by a specific type of game. Pokey is not a Valorant streamer, even if she streams exclusively Valorant, and that's just the way it is. 
in my head. I could be wrong. I could be lying. You might disagree. Pokey is not a Valorant streamer. She is just somebody who streams Valorant. Um, she she is above that, like, box. Um, I don't know who the fuck Timmy is. I'm voting for Jade. She's the only... I don't know who Puns is either. I'm voting for Jade. Best philanthropic, philanthropic streamer. It's Lupo. It's not even close. Oh, fuck. It is close. I didn't read anybody else. Hmm. It's Lupo, but Dr. But Dr. K. It's Lupo for dollar impact, but it's Dr. K for everything else. I'm going to have to vote for Lupo because he deserved this. I, like, I I can't not. But I do appreciate and highly value what Dr. K does. Also, Jack does a ton for charity. It's not to be downplayed. It's just that if I have to choose between two charity heads, Jack and Lupo, I'm going Lupo. And Healthy Gamer gets the nod because this is like a very... He takes on very important topics and interviews people that are literally self-described incels. Uh, I don't know anything about Rambo, so I can't talk, sh like, sh not talk shit. I can't, like, speculate on that. I'm going with Lupo. It's, it's good. I don't know. This is why these awards are dumb. 90% of the time, it's the person with the largest audience win, regardless if they deserve it or not. Well, Dr. Lupo has raised more money for charity than any of these people, and I'd probably... I might be able to say he's raised more money than... All of these people combined, um, that's contests, right? That's what awards are. But you could also say, like, it, like, what does deserving mean? Like, Dr. K is a literal doctor. Like, who, who is making an effort to actively de insulize Twitch. Isn't that more impactful? as a whole to our community than Lupo donating money to cancer research? Like what, like what exactly? That's a job, not philanthropy. <laughs> what do you think? What? Oh, that's a joke. Oh my God. Oh man. I'm so glad that it took me a second. I'm so glad you clarified. <laughs> I was like, I was like, bro, there's no way. There's no way! I was about to lose my shit. <laughs> I was like, listen, guys, nobody gets paid when they work with Doctors Without Borders, all right? All that shit is out of their own pocket. No job. <laughs> like, oh my God. Oh. All right, uh, best variety streamer. Moist, disguise. Best variety streamer? You don't have X in here? This is tough. This really is going to be a comparison between who I actually watch. Um, I'm voting for Critical. I've known the dude for like a decade. I I I genuinely have to. Like Ludwig is great too, and I watch him and Ray is super nice and I do watch her. Um, and Toast, I don't watch it all, but I know of him and I know he's great too, but like Critical like I don't know if you like I don't know if I've we've talked about it before, but like I way back before Ray William Johnson's Q op video was like when we'd be hanging out in like Xbox parties. Like Critical has disappeared from the internet and come back and now he's doing so great. Like I can't not vote for the guy. He's he's a dub. Best streaming event. It's gotta I Oh no. There are only two no. There are only two winners here. There are only two winners here. And it doesn't matter what you think. It is either Germa or the Balloon World Cup. There it is not even comparable. I don't care what anybody says. There's nothing that even comes remotely close to the production level of either of those two events. These were two historic events 
in streaming and just because one of them doesn't speak english doesn't let you just like ignore it um germa's was i don't know if we're ever going to see something like that again for another year or two if you i'm going to pronounce his name wrong ebay if you've not seen any of ebay's content you really, you really, really should be at least checking in on the, like, post-stream content. All of your favorite English streamers are watching MasterChef. Ibai is putting on a giant actual MasterChef with the largest creators in, in Spanish-speaking creators with real chef judges, like, high production value with international sponsors. It is, it is quite literally like watching MasterChef on Twitch. He's streaming with Messi the day that Messi leaves his club. He's, he's like, he's doing things that make no sense because they're on a completely different level from what English speaking streamers are doing. It's not comparable. The only, not Messi, I meant, I meant uh, Ronaldo. Sorry, I get, a, 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 it is what it is. Germa's, the only reason that it's up there is because Germa put together, I think it was a two-day event. It was messy. Okay. Two-day event or three, two or three-day event with some of the coolest ideas in chat interaction I've ever seen. It was like a live, I think Old Spice did something kind of similar for an ad campaign where chat got to vote on things that would happen to a guy in the wild. But Germa just took it a step further it was hilarious. The people that they brought on was good. It was one of those things where you where you watch as a creator and you're like, this is this is the thing that everyone should aspire to do. I'm not saying that ShitCon wasn't fun. I watched all, all of the clips from that. I'm not saying the price is scuffed isn't fun. These are things that have been done before many times and aren't that new. High production value, sure, and whatnot, but like I don't know who to vote for. I'm going to go with Ebay because I don't think that people are going to vote for for this one because they don't understand how important it was. But I want to say that creatively, I'm with Germa on his because I think that was the... As, as somebody who makes content, I, all I did when I watched that was like seethe and jealousy that he figured out how to do this. I was like, if oh my God, imagine if I had figured out how to do this first. So cool. Was PK the day Messi debuted on PSG? Really? Uh, yeah, either way. Um, all right, stream game of the year. Um, It can't be Valorant, and it certainly cannot be Apex Legends, despite the fact that Apex might be the best BR out there right now. Valorant cannot beat out Counter-Strike in anything that it ever does, as far as I'm concerned, because it is just not there yet. Valorant is a good game, but it is not that good. Minecraft, your only reason we're going to vote for that is because it's like a perennial always favorite. And the only reason that Minecraft is ever in the stream of the game of the streamer game of the year award segment, whether it's this one or three years ago, is because we have a huge, huge, huge fan base with there. I'm going GTA 5. I think that RP made the most unique content, and I think that it makes for the most unique content. RP is really dope and the people that work both on and off the scenes make it what it is and I am routinely interested in it. I, I don't think that I could say the same for anything else. How is Tarkov not there? Um, Because it's people that are voting on this are viewers of like the OTK group. So I'm assuming that they aren't even like necessarily into that. I would kill in game to see you on RP. Uh, if I were to do RP, I would love to be a cab driver, and I've thought about it for a while. My main issues with RP are the barrier of entry. I have to spend a long time learning how to play it. Uh oh. Uh oh. 
Oh no. girl is um, sometimes absent-minded in what may or may not be a good idea to say vocally to the person that is her boss. And so let me read this. Um, there's never a day when I don't disappoint my vet. We had a dog whose name was Riley Rhodes. So I was like, is your mom's name Lana Rhodes? My vet goes, his mom's name is Jill. Who the hell is Lana? So I was like, she's just a famous porn star. And my vet didn't even say anything after, just silently went back to doing med charts. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Maybe don't do that next time. Why would you say that out loud? Like, what is, like, what the fuck was the end goal there? I respect it too, but like, you gotta, you, you gotta know. Oh, man. Her vet's like 50. All right. Best content organization. I'm going to vote for 100 Thieves. OTK is actually great. I'm, I, I don't underestimate offline TV's influence. Energy is not even in the same league as any of these people. So... Um, it really comes down to, do you like Miz, Asmin? Do you like, do you like, you know, S-Fan? Do you like eSports? Or do you, it's like, do you like D-Gens? Do you like eSports, Hypebeast? Or do you like K-Pop? Like, there's, it's like the three segments. I don't know. I, I'm going to vote for 100 Thieves, but I think each one of them have, like, their own, like, lane. And they're all great. So... I gotta go with the one that I care about, I guess. League of their own. The streamer is a pioneer that creates one-of-a-kind content. Oh, no. With their creati creativity and out-of-the-box thinking, they're a trailblazer in the streaming industry. Somebody relies on themselves for their content ideas. This has to be the best category for sure. I, I previously said... What, what did I say? I previously said that... That this one was very tough. Nah, this one, this one's for sure the hardest. I've already told you why I like Ebay. The Sushi Dragon is a streamer streamer, a content creator's. No, that's not true. It is a tech creator's creator. The things that they do on stream are so absurd, but. The content is not for me. I appreciate the the lengths they go to continuously push shit, but it's not for me. Kit Boga, I follow. How else could you convince me to watch somebody for 10 hours go through a phishing scam on a virtual PC? Nobody like him. There's nobody that can do his shtick. There's nobody that could even hold a candle to him. As far as like copyable creators, nobody can copy Kit Boga. Like, that's just his shit. Germa. <laughs> this is so hard. I'm going to vote Germa because I voted Ebay for this one. That's that's what I that's what I have to do. I I say my honorable mention goes to Kit Boga. I think Kit Kit here should get the nod. And I think Sushi's also great, but like I gotta split it between these two. Rising Star. Zoyo is the only one that I know. And I've watched some streams with Zoyo, so I guess I'll go with that one. Legacy Award. A legend who's contributed a great deal and has shaped the streaming industry career achievement award. Alright, well I don't want to be rude, but one but I don't but Pokey doesn't when did Pokey start streaming? I don't feel like Pokey is I don't think Pokey's been in the game long enough for this one. 2013-14? You know what's crazy? Is that's not... 
that's way like farther back than I thought. And it's still not even close. <laughs> it's gotta be Soda or Summit. There's no, they, like these two missing lyric. Why did Sco, mm. this is so hard for me to do without trying to offend people. Like if my name was in here, I would fully expect everybody to be like, why the fuck is this guy in here? But like, truthfully, why is Scar in here and not Lyric? Because I don't even think that Lyric is that far off from the group of people that would be voting on these awards in the first place. He found it OTV. I am a dumbass and that makes sense. All right, there you go. Damn. Even man versus game? No. I mean, yes, man is definitely old as shit, but like, we're not trying to give the award to the person that streamed the longest. We're trying to give an award to somebody that is culturally influential right now, but has been doing it for a long time. And in my opinion, I didn't know that Scara founded OTV. So you know what? These are actually really good. Damn, this is hard. Hmm. I've been doing this for so long though that I'm going to go with the people that have been doing it as long as as, as me. Um, oh man. It cannot be it cannot be Scara for me. I don't think that Pokey has done as much as Soda, but her shit is probably more influential. And Summit... I think Summit's... <laughs> this is gonna be weird. I think Summit doesn't give a shit enough to, <laughs> to vote for him. I don't think Summit ever tries to do anything and he just does whatever. And that in its own right is incredible, but like, I just don't think I can vote for him on this. <laughs> like, it's it's between these three in my head. No disrespect to Skara. I'm gonna vote for Soda Poppin. And the other reason that I'm gonna vote for Soda over Pokey is because I've been watching Soda for like a decade. And I still think that probably Pokey's had more influence on the space than any of these people. Maybe not Skara because he had OTK, but that's not, that's not what I'm voting off of. I'm just vo voting off of like who I pay attention to. Gamer of the year, it's Shroud. And here's the funny thing. It shouldn't be, it should be Tens or Asu or Timmy. I don't know really any of these people. Actually Tens, sounds familiar. And I know this person does like uh, Apex shit, but I only know Shroud and you know what? Fuck y'all. Valorant player. Yeah, Shroud uses Nightmo music. You want me to vote against somebody who in their 10 million follower video uses three minutes of my song as the intro? You want me to vote against that? You're nuts. You're nuts. The whole f start of that video is my music. Oh, easy. No, they did They did credit. It's all, Shroud, Shroud, is, Shroud gets a forever pass. All right, the fact that I DM'd him and 13 minutes later they had added the, the description, that's faster response time than I get for my agents, okay? Shroud gets the, he gets the pass. He doesn't have to credit us again, just here you go. Yours, quote. No, quite literally mine. I own all of the publishing rights to it. It's mine. Next question. <laughs> it's not mine. I don't own the IP, that's not how it works. Um, oh god, he's gone corpo. Hey, shut up. I'm a DMCAU. Uh, streamer of the year. The best overall streamer for the past year. They saw great success with their entertaining content, elevated the branding in general, left their mark on viewers. Ooh, it's Ludwig. This is for 2021, right? It's Ludwig. This isn't a, this isn't a, uh, this isn't up for debate. Ludwig broke the actual idea of what farming content could be. Ludwig reinvented the idea of Subathon. Like he, he broke that concept. Um, he, he's, 
Ludwig is the most recognized streamer that gets, in my opinion, the least amount of credit. I know that everybody gets what Ludwig has done, but I seriously don't think people attribute enough of the things that he's done or the things that he does or the commotion of people leaving platforms, joining platforms. I don't think that people are just sitting here and like, they're like, yeah, that's cool. He streamed for a very long time. What else? I don't know. Ms. Kiff is doing great. X is the biggest streamer on Twitch, and Saikuno is great too. Ludwig needs to win this one. He became the most subbed streamer on Twitch and then left the platform. Yeah, good for him. March 12th. Hey, Siri. Set a reminder March 12th at 8 a.m. to watch the streamer awards. It's going to be XQC or Mizkif. Why would you say that? Isn't Cutie dating uh, Ludwig? That's going to be a competitive thing. I'll reach out to one of them and see if I can co-stream or whatever the fuck. That's cool. Thanks for letting me know that was a thing, Chad. I appreciate it. Go to the awards show. If they have the awards show in LA, I'd be down. You know, last time I went to an awards show? <laughs> oh my God. They're so boring. Oh my God. I will go to the award show if there's an open bar. That's not true. I'll go even if there isn't. I'll just bring my own alcohol. It is in LA. Porn awards was fun though, right? Yeah, the porn awards were fun. I just think that people need to understand that award shows are only f are award. Mm. Award shows are fun when you go with a group of people that are all like friends and the goal is to like have fun at the award show. Like stuffy award shows suck. This is not a stuffy award show. This is like, um, this is not, like I said at the start, nobody told me this was a fucking streamer centric made award show. I clicked on this page and I was like, what the fuck are you sending me to? <laughs> but this is good. This is like a, this is just like a collection of people that actually just like, I don't know. Award shows. This is fun. Although I... Yeah, I don't know. I voted. It was the streamerawards.com is the name of the website, by the way. Yeah, community event. Exactly. It's not really... No, it's not super about who wins the awards. It's about celebrating streaming as a whole. And also bringing light to people and events and things that you might not have known about. Example, the Abai thing. Oops, sorry. The Abai thing. Like... How many of you might not have known about that if this if we hadn't gone through that? So it's definitely there's a reason for it. But all right, I hope it goes well. Also, if you guys want to rent a space that's not that expensive, <laughs> then let me know. I'll put you in contact with some people. <laughs> um, all right, let's get our daily gamba on. Geoguesser, baby. Why is it taking so long to load? I am not doing well on the daily challenge.
I show you Maybe I could change your mind Keep me with you Baby, we just need some time I believe it It was always gonna be us two Piggy dipping. Piggy dipping in the piggy fucking pond. All right. You might like world the laurel. Yeah, no, we play it every day. Don't worry. Imagine being so good at GeoGuessr, you split your gamma 50-50. It's not even just that. You're basically gambing that I will get within 300 miles of every single randomly generated Google Maps location on the map. No matter what. It's pretty fucked up. A lot of confidence in me, huh? Pretty easy if you see the things you, you need to see. Yeah, like this. Love seeing. I'm thinking like, like Panama. Alright, this may sound super fucked up. But the reason I think it's pan Muzo Ubate Barbosa. Barbosa. The sun is east. We're at the equator. I feel pretty good about about like 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 here. Um. The reason I say this is because, okay, hear me out. Uh, there's mountains. It can't be Panama. It's not that Panama's not mountainous. It's just that it's not. I've... Is this? I need somebody to tell me if I'm just if I'm ignorant. This word, for whatever reason, looks like what in my head. What is it? The word banana or something? There's a word. That I I think. For whatever, for whatever reason, I thought, like, the Dole Fruit Company. I was like, well, Panama. Like, that's why I chose Panama. I, I think I might be the dumbest human known to man. This is not Panama. Isn't that Colombian colors? Juan Cord... I don't know what I'm looking for. It is, right? Wait, go back. Oh, I thought it said... Muzo Ubate? Never mind. Barbosa? Captain Barbo... I don't know where... I'm fucked. I don't know where I'm going. Unless this has like a URL, I'm kind of fucked. El oh. Arbosa yeah, you know like David. Wait, what if it's Brazil? It's not Brazil. I have 12 seconds. There's mountains and shit. It's not Panama. <clears throat> it's here. It's here. It's here. Arbosa, it's here. Ha <laughs> ha! Get fucked! Equators, baby. All right. Now, can you please tell me? Hold on. Can you please? Can you please tell me? Chiquita's Banana Company. All right. So I was kind of right, but so far off. 
was like kind of right. I was reading. I was like, I've seen this shit. I swear to God. That's fine though. Even if it was Panama, it would have been like thirty five hundred. This is tough. It's a real hard one, guys. I don't know about this. Where's the KFC? Where's the fucking Sphinx? Pyramid, 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 right? One, two, three, one, two, three, right here. Imhotep Museum right here. I think we're, this. these aren't, these aren't Giza. I feel pretty good about it. You know, I don't fucking care. It doesn't matter. Huh. It is Giza. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Oh, it did say Sphinx Tours. Oh, I do remember it saying Sphinx. Ugh. All right, whoops. Why is the happy face red? This is the ideal car body style, and you can fight me if you disagree. God, it's so hot. We're not in Poland. Where are we? Slovenia, Slovenia, Slovakia, Poland, Restaurant Bendik, can Bendik, right. uh, Belarus. I'm going off of the colors of green and blue. No, they have no, they have Cyrillic. It's not. Uh, with the Slovakia, right? Potacha, uh, HR, hungry? Wait, HR? Wait, HR? HR, hung is it hungry? It's gotta be hungry, right? HR, hungry. Hungry, HR? When... I've never been to Hungary. Obviously. This is looking like... Shit like this makes me think it's like... You know what I mean? Like this is like... This is like East Europe Hungary. What if I'm getting baited by a Hungarian company in another country? How many times did I fall for? Doesn't look Hungarian. Zeleno. Z. Zeleno. Z. Bosnia? Fuck! 
Fuck off! Oh, it was Croatia. Oh, I wouldn't have gotten that. Was I closer in the hung in Hungary? I don't know. Damn. HR? It's Hervas Hervatska, the endonym for Croatia. What's a Switzerland's? HV? Helvetica? I'm learning so much. No, CH. Which is what? Helvetica, Helvetic Confederation. Are there other places like that? Well, flipped, right. Are there other countries that you guys know of that have names that are technically correct, but also not? RS is Serbia. Well, Germany, yeah. ZA is South Africa. That's that that I knew of, but yeah. No, Espana I knew. No, I'm talking about like I'm talking about nobody in Switzerland says they're from Confederation Helvetica. America USA is actually a correct one, but I'm talking about like dot your like URLs. Like um uh I don't even know. Estonia that's that doesn't count. I just meant like Croatia, I would have never guessed that it's Hrvatska. Cool. That's sick. Where's Modelo? Wait, did I read too much into that? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> I looked at this and I was like, where the fuck in Mexico looks like this? <laughs> but this is uh, Municipio Modelo. And I was like, oh, hell yeah, dude. Unless there is a Modelo Municipio in Bolivia. Wait, am I sure? Look north. Yeah. All right. Um, we'll go based off of that. Great, I guess. It's kind of fucked up. <laughs> All right, you know what's interesting to me? The similarities between South and Central America buildings being built in rural areas and Africa. The amount of African, Kenyan, Nigerian, Ugandan buildings that have West African that have like this kind of like the buildings have advertisements posted all over them. Uh, it's like the drywall company and shit. It's like one to one. It's kind of wild. Where the fuck am I? I don't see any Modelo. I don't have a lot of time. Borda. I'm gonna say that means border. That's such a damn bad idea. <laughs> I mean, like, it probably makes sense. It's more likely to be over here in Brazil than, or like Peru. I don't know. Borda means border. Border governor. Duh. <laughs> it didn't. Wait, I was closer in the first place.
All right. I need 2,000 points. French? Ameri- French? American? Thailand. <laughs> hmm. Who got their country fucked up by France and America? Hmm. <laughs> it's a really tough one. Wait a minute. Wait. 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 Wait, put me back in the car! Hey, we gotta drive! You can't give me every flag! You can't give me every flag! No! <laughs> oh, shit. Fuck. <laughs> this is actually kind of screwed. Let me go back. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Laos is over here. Right here. Probably like some. Well, all right, so probably like right here. Probably like right, probably like right here. <laughs> Imagine not believing. Slaughtered. Um, I got lucky on that. Imagine if I had gone Slovakia or even Por Poland. This one was a freebie. This one was kind of lucky. This one was not. Yeah, this is Mitch. What's the highest score? 25K. My highest was 24,700, which was insane. These people cheat because they're virgins. I mean, Virgos. <laughs> this looks like an island. It's 6,000 miles southwest of Andorra, which is between France and Spain, which puts it sol solidly in West Africa? In... In... Whoa. In. It looks like an island, though. What has Nero on the top? All right, well, let's do, let's do Ghana. There's literally no way I get it. Ghana, six, 4,000 miles southwest of Ghana. 
Unless it's unless it's South America, unless it's like Bolivia. What? Fucking. Uruguay. I really have no scale. 6,000 miles is a quarter way around the world. I know I have no scale of how big the world is. I know that it's 25,000 miles around, but like, fuck if, like when you say 6,000, when Sri Lanka was 9,000 miles away in my head, I was like, damn dude, Arkansas, that's a crazy country. Like, mm, keep it in English, please. Let's do chat. Pick a starting country. Chad. These two are equidistant. It's either this country, this country, or this one. All right. Um. The fuck is this little thing? What's the little thing above it? And what's this like? What's the international island right there? It's not indoor Maldives. No, that's way far away. The I don't even know where that is. The fuck is the little? Isn't that S Sardinia, Crete, Andorra, Malta? Eat a dick. I can't even zoom in on this. Who owns this? Does France own this? France probably owns that. Oh, that's where Napoleon left, isn't it? All right, France owned that. It's right here. I don't know the name of this. It's That's Ibiza. 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 What is this? Andorra? No. Andorra? Look, Spain. No, it's not? Oh, shit. Crete? What? Isn't Crete, how do you spell Crete? That's Greece, dumb fuck.
Let's go! Look at who came in the mail! Yeah, baby! The reprint. Ooh! That was fast. What the fuck? Oh, fuck. Not Belarus. Um. Oh, fuck. What the fuck is between Moldova, Bulgaria? Belarus, Ukraine, Moldova. The f this is a NATO country. <laughs> right? It ha it is, right? Bulgaria. Holy shit. Dude. Oh. oh it's super mountainous <clears throat> Poland well Belarus Poland Belarus Latvia Lithuania Estonia Poland Croatia Bosnia the fuck is right here? Oh. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> to the east of Hungary, to the west of Moldova, to the north of Bulgaria, 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 to the south of Belarus, to the. Oh my god. I'm running out of big brain, bro. I can't. <laughs> um. Moldova, I pulled that one out of my asshole. Kosovo. Holy shit. What is between Bulgaria and Moldova? Oh, it's going to hurt my soul when I find it. Slovakia, Slovenia. I'm literally naming all of Eastern Europe at this point. I mean, I give up. One, I got what this is 16. This is 20 guesses. No, it's 16 guesses. This is so bad. Fuck, what is it? Romania! No! Oh my god. Oh. oh. Oh, it's so fucking big, too. What is this, Serbia? 
Oh. National language of Moldova is Romanian. Really? Is it? The only reason that I know, uh, the only reason I guess Moldova is because I just saw like the Belarusian, Belarusian uh, invasion plans that had them taking the, uh, uh, whatever the weirdly Transvanian thing is right here. And I was like, yep, I know that it's over here somewhere. Fuck. Oh, that's super upsetting. Oh, Romania is big too. I really should have gotten that. This is this is Serbia, right? And then Croatia, Croatia and Serbia. Transistria, thank you. Damn. EU laughing at you? Yep. Bro, me trying to guess the Balkan states right now is like me giving you a map without outlines of the United States and telling you to guess Central America. I mean, sorry, Middle America, not Central America, Middle America. Good luck. <laughs> Point on the map where fucking Arkansas is. Like that's the like that's the equivalent of Moldova. Americans can't do that. I know. <laughs> Balkan's so easy though. At the risk of sounding um rude it changes every 10 years all right what i learned in college was different from what i learned in high school i'm not even trying to meme all right czechia has had four names since i've been alive it was it like like i'm sorry but shit changes often Yeah, I know. It's a lot of wars. Czechia, Czech Republic, Czechoslovakia, Chechenia, Yugoslavia doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> Wait, does it? No, it doesn't. No, no, it doesn't. Sorry. Again, a lot of shit. All right. Um, Martha is here. Have you played Worldle? Different one, the one you just played? You must have just joined right after I ended it. All right. Um, there's a Sporkle quiz for finding states in the U.S. without outlines. I can almost guarantee you that I would manage to... do. I would get 100% on that. Um, I want to play Martha's here. I have four hours of stream left. The problem is I didn't expect to spend two hours doing this. Martha is here, takes four to five hours to complete. What do we do? Speed run it? Let's give it a go. If I don't finish Martha's here today, we're not finishing the game. I just want you to know that. I don't think any of us give a shit if the unless the game is so good. Like, I don't think any of us give a shit about it. You just want to see me get scared. So, like, what's the problem here? <laughs> like, it's a $30 game, by the way. I mean, Martha is dead. Sorry. Martha is not here. Martha is dead. I don't even know the name of the game that I'm about to play. All right. How do I get my heartbeat monitor going? Shut up, Martha. Too loud. Good 
been following since 2014 and you haven't changed a bit. I know. <laughs> it's it's a real problem. I'm working on it. Uh, M. Hicks, thank you for the 49 months. Stress college student, me too. Not college student, definitely stress. Thank you for the four months. Long Justin, thank you for the 46. Enigma, thank you for the 39. Jack Boy, thank you for the four. George May, thank you for the 42. Shout out to my boy. Subsos for the 13. Four Fleet, thank you for the tier three. Appreciate it, man. I hate it. Tell me your tale, tell me you're here. Maybe I'm real, maybe not. Don't forget my name is time. My heartbeat was a hundred BPM while pissing. Yeah, I, I, I went upstairs. <laughs> you frying pork chops with that horse pussy? <laughs> You're frying horse. Oh my god. I'm. Oh man. I gotta send that to Cheney. It's one of those things that's just like so dumb and so funny. Stress pissing, yeah. All right, couple things. Uh, the BPM counter is roughly five seconds delayed. I wonder if there's a way we can do it better though. February 21st, hype rate beta hopes. All right, accept the test flight beta here. Download it, open the app on your iPhone and allow it. Okay, start new free custom CBS. Is it fast? I just need to know. I could probably download heart rate booster APK. Oh, you actually. Um, I wonder if I could delay my sources. That'd be kind of wild properties. I'm not going to do that. Look, you'll just, no, this is good. That way you can see how, listen, 
this is good. You will see how excited and wired I get after you're done taking in how funny it was that I got scared. So you can enjoy the moment and then just look there and then it'll start to update and you'll be like, damn, this bitch was scared. I think it up updates every, every two seconds or every three seconds, maybe every five. Ninety-three? That's bullshit. A hundred! All right. Here's the thing. Let's see if it's working. Anyways, I have consumed three cups of coffee today. My normal heart rate rests at around 60. So, so, um, it really is slow. Should I try another one? Let's try another one. Nah, it's fine. Fuck it. I don't have time for this. Whatever. I'm just going to play it. All right. Uh, language. Italian. Hmm. No. Chinese. Simp. What? I hate this font. This is like the font that you'd install on your computer back in 2006 because you just wanted to have like a quirky font on your computer. This is like my mom's cell phone font. The story of Martha is dead and its featured characters are a work of fiction. All of this is true. All of this was based on real events. All right? That's all you need to know. Oh. That's not what I want to see before I start a game. It's one of those games. So, <laughs> shit. All right, boys. Um... Hey guys, I, uh, uh, I don't know about this one. You want to know how I got these scars? Ciao. Ciao. I'm Julia. Hi, Julia. Julia K. Not one of my favorite I'm glad you alpha here. models, but... Nobody has visited me in ages. It's been years now. I must tell you my story, but... I don't know where to begin. There is so much that... I should start from my childhood, but my memories of these times are vague. I only remember the summer of 1929, when they sent me off to stay with my nanny. We getting... Hmm. Please tell me we're not about to go into some weird, like... Nanny? Will you tell me the story of the white lady? Nanny! No, little sparrow. Not tonight. Oh, thank A God. Foggy's coming, see? Yes. I know that when it's foggy, the lady kills young women. But why is she so evil? You see, Julia, pain and suffering can make us do evil things, even if we're not actually bad. Just like soldiers have to kill other soldiers. I like the lady I've decided, Nanny. She must be in so much pain. The 
poor dear. She still scares me a little though. Soon I'll be a young woman and she could kill me. Does she kill those who love her? This of course not. Who, what kind and of child talks like this? I love her. But what about Martha? Would she be in danger? Your sister is with your mother, so do not worry. Do you miss them? No. I mean, yes. I miss Martha a little, but I love spending time with you. Now, go to sleep, little sparrow. It's getting late. Okay, Nanny. I'll go to sleep and dream of the lady. Was she beautiful? She was beautiful. Yes. Very much so. Then she'll be beautiful in my dreams. And will I be beautiful just like her? You'll be even more beautiful. Listen, Nanny. Since the lady won't harm me because I love her, and since you're not a young woman, could you tell me her story? Even if it's foggy outside. Please. Oh, please. Please, tell me the story about oh, the lady right. that killed everyone, Mommy, Nanny. Me. It will help me fall asleep. Please. No, what the fuck is I wrong with Nanny you? I and I loved that story. Every time I heard it, it sounded like a new and more mesmerizing tale. Every night I would ask her to tell me about it, even though it scared me. Even now I can remember every single day of that time and how happy I was. Oh, hell no. Nah. I'm not moving no camera. According to an ancient legend, the lakes of the area are haunted by the spirit of a young woman who was killed by the man she loved. She was expecting a lover stroll by the lake gazing out at the old tree growing on the lake's island. Bro, she's, mm, uh -uh. all right. So much hope and desire that death, not love, was awaiting her. Oh, the poor dear, that's not fair. Life isn't fair, Poppet, but that's the way it is. Hello, Poppet. We must learn to deal with it. Okay. I'll try, but it makes me so mad. Keep on reading, Nanny. In despair, the man confessed he had killed her out of jealousy. So he was hanged on the small island, in the middle of the very same lake where he had killed the girl. Is this a German? Fairy tale? What is happening in here? They searched everywhere, but the girl's body was never found. Some real Hansel and Gretel type shit. Since then, her spirit, known as the White Lady, has been imprisoned in the depths of the lake. She grieves eternally for the loss of the man she loved. When fog arises, the White Lady is known to leave the waters of the lake and roam the woods, looking for her long lost love in vain. Yeah. Within the fog oh. of dawn, hunters have claimed to hear the wailing of a woman in the distance. Every time the sad memory of the night she perished stirs in her soul, she takes the life of a young woman by slaying such a life in its youth. Even just for an instant, the lady feels free from the Wait. burden of her pain. I'm a young woman, apparently. The Giving Tree. Who remembers that book? Good night, Nanny. Night, Nanny. Good night, my love. I spent almost three years with the nanny, but when I came home, I quickly forgot how to be happy. Same. My memories did not return until 15 years later, in mm. 1944, okay. when I stayed in that house. I enjoyed setting up cameras in the woods by the lake. My father created a device that in attached 44? to the cameras. It would make them take pictures at set intervals. I was trying to photograph animals. 
or whatever else was in that damned place. Cool! Mmm, yes, mmm, oh, mmm, yeah! Ooh, 1944, love my camera. I feel so immersed. Mm, yeah, look at me immersed. Open the camera. Remove the old roll of film. Oh, gotta put that in. Put the new film in. I'm gonna have to do this a lot. This is tutorial mode. This is, I'm gonna have to learn how to speed run this. Close the camera. There we go. And then load the, film. load the film. And then. Activate the timer. There you go. Almost ready. Now to bring the image into focus. What the fuck? There's something floating on the surface of the water. If I frame it better, I might be able to see what it is. How about you just walk down there? What? Is that a person? I must help them. No. someone might have drowned in my lake. The lake was my world, where I would spend entire days daydreaming. I would lose myself in my thoughts, but that was a rude awakening. So terrible. The fuck is that? My clothes? <sighs> w key. Oh, I thought I saw hands. You're not supposed to open your eyes underneath water in a pond because, like, you could get parasites and stuff. And maybe you just prop, you just make sure that if you make sure you know what's in the water. Oh, I gotta swim to her. It's a banger. White lady? Roller over. I instantly noticed that the person was wearing one of my dresses. I was scared. I dragged that lifeless body as best as I could to the shore, trying not to drown myself. Only when I lifted her in my arms did I realize who she was. It was my sister, my twin, a part of me, dead. Impossible to comprehend. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do or to think. Your sister? Why did she steal your dress? That's what we were like. Fuck I your have sister. To stay calm. Oh. Martha is not dead. Nah, honey, she dead as fuck. It's not possible. Uh, uh... It's not true. There's no need to worry. Everything is fine. Dead as hell. Everything will be fine. We have to stay calm. Martha is not dead. She is dead. It's not possible. Martha, February 26th, 1923. Yep, checks out. That's her. Don't put it on, you freak. Is everything okay? No! Martha's dead! 
What are you doing? Go, Eric. Run. My parents ran towards me. My mother hugged me. She, who detested me, was now cuddling me. Her warmth filled me with life, and the pain became bearable. I felt protected. Martha, are you okay? She asked me, speaking slowly in order to let me read her lips. She thought I was deaf. She thought I was Martha. I didn't want the moment to fade, so I meekly nodded my head. I didn't realize I had done something that couldn't be undone. Oh. I would have to pretend to be Martha. Oh. Forever. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's an awful premise. Holy shit. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, it's an awful premise. Oh, my God. Okay, cool. Sign of the cross. Get up. Oh, God, man. My poor sister. The Lord who gives life to the dying. Let your sacrifice of love be offered for Martha's soul. Into your hands I also entrust my spirit. So that I may be reunited with her in perpetual light. To never suffer the desolation of purgatory. Please grant her eternal rest, O Lord, and may eternal light shine upon her. Eerie, did you remember to light the candles in the hall? People will be here soon. Mummy always finds something for everyone to do. <laughs> oh. Ah. <clears throat> <clears throat> Right, uh, okay, um, what am I doing with this? Oh, lighting candles. Wait a minute. Am I supposed to be deaf? Daddy's oboe. We were preparing a really nice. If that's the case, him. then. On the rare occasions he's at home, that is. What the fuck did that mean? Okay. Daddy, mummy, and my grandparents. It seems almost impossible that father is a soldier. Mother would have been more suitable if she wasn't a woman. Fuck with that. Should I even. Can I just leave? If that's the case, then, um, like, what happens if I talk? There's no reason to use the phone right now. Oh, yeah, because I'm deaf. When you're done, can you come and get the flowers, please? Or send Martha, if you like. Oh, he's asleep. <sighs> Never a moment's peace. Oh. At a time like this. Oh! Still for a second. Oh! 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 Dad! Mom needs you! I thought she was talking July to me. 17th, 1944. Our family is deeply saddened and is thinking of you during this extremely difficult time. Ernesto E. And Thanks, family. Ernesto. July 17th, 1944. Our hearts are with you, and we flowers. share your grief in the wake of the tragic loss of your dearest Julia. When Mummy asks for something, there's no escaping it. July 17th, 1944, Ministry of War. Director General for Conscripts and NCOs. We are grieving over your sudden loss, and we send you our heartfelt condolences. The Lieutenant Colonel Rapporteur. Damn. An old painting. I find it so sad. It communicates a sense of deep solitude to me. I can't turn it off. We have to listen to the radio all of the time. Any news and announcements can be vital. World War II?
The only way people could tell Martha and me apart was by dressing differently. I better go or she'll end up getting seriously angry. Yeah, what is she gonna do? Beat you? You're deaf! Daddy's canes. They are so beautiful, but I can't say why, but they have always scared me. Where are the flowers? Are these not the flowers? Hi, Mom. Everything always has to be perfect with her. Hello? Londra. Oh. Trasmettiamo alcuni messaggi speciali. Listening. Felice non è felice. Ah. È cessata la pioggia. Okay. La mia barba è bionda. Great. Parla Londra. Abbiamo trasmesso alcuni messaggi speciali. Good to know. Squidly, thanks for the 10 gifted, by the way. to sleep here of all places what hmm yes i must have fallen asleep what are they talking about you can't stay here forever why don't you go to bed no no i want to stay with my daughter your daughter your daughter you have another daughter you know the one who's still alive Remember? What are you talking about, Irena? Julia is dead. What kind of comment is that? How can you? You should be thinking about Martha. Julia harmed Martha. You know that, right? And as if that were not enough, she has now also abandoned her. It's the same old story. Everything is always Julia's fault, isn't it? Her fault for Martha being deaf and for you being infertile. Let's go, Dad. Do you think it's the right time for this? Let's go, Julia Dad. Julia is dead, Irena. Dead. Someone killed her. Do you realize that? Of course I realize. I get it. Do you think I'm stupid? No one understands it better than me. Oh, shut up. She always brought problems. Only problems. It would have been better if she hadn't been born at all. <laughs> Oh! You're crazy. I'm the crazy one? <laughs> Listen to the passion Me? in his voice. I am the crazy one? Me? They have done this. To get at me, yes. Your death is all my fault. Ho saputo farti solo del male, Giulia. Povera, dolce, strampalata, Giulia. Come farò senza di te? Come sarà la vita ora? Tutto il tempo che non ho saputo spendere con te. Ora sono a casa. Possiamo andare a pescare insieme. Possiamo fotografare le farfalle. No. Non possiamo fare più niente insieme, vero? Più niente. Really hit. Mentre i bombardamenti anglo-americani continuano a devastare le pacifiche città della Valdelsa, è con grande dolore che apprendiamo quanto accaduto nei pressi della Romola. La giovane figlia del generale dell'esercito tedesco Eric K è stata assassinata nei pressi della sua abitazione. Oh! Non possono esserci dietro un atto così vile. È quello che sperano di scoprire i carabinieri che sono subito intervenuti. We're Nazis!
La mamma non sembrava soffrire molto. All right, I can't. All she cared about was that my death was so painful for Martha. But not having me around anymore must have been a great relief to her. At the end of the day, it was better for everyone that it was me who died. And it was better for me too that people thought that. But the guilt began to consume me. That's when I started having horrible nightmares. Chat, not every fucking citizen. Oh, I! I I She looks like she dropped some fucking quality souls. That's a lot of blood! Hey, come listen to this beat I just made! Right here, right here. Hey, dead bodies don't bleed. Yeah, cut her other side off. There you go. Here. Let me turn my DPI up. All right, there you go. Yeah, make sure that, yeah, there you go. Let's start from the chin down, I'd say. No, from the top down, all right. They're really making me fight for it. There you go, just go ahead and peel that baby off. Surely it can't be that easy! Oh my god! What the fuck?! Suddenly we're in Mexico. Alright.
Nice. Oh. It was just a dream. Used to read Word Up magazine. That horrendous woman and the face of my sister. I wish all of this was a dream and my sister is just sleeping in her bed. Instead, her bed is empty and this is reality. Yeah, usually this is what I like to wake up next to. Bunch of babies getting cut up. Little Red Riding Hood type ass. This is Martha and me at the Festival of the Patron Saint. It was only a few months ago, and now... Martha had asked for a picture of me to put in this frame. She wanted me to do one of those expressions of mine that made her laugh. Expressions that she couldn't quite imitate. She used to say that those were the signs of my soul. Can a photo capture the soul? Yes. Can I capture Martha's soul? No. Thank you for the 10 gifted, Squidly. Again, fucking weird. Scary fairy tales. Everything seems to be scary lately. Yet everything here is so beautiful and bright. 4120. <laughs> nice. Martha's clothes. To me, wearing them will be like having her with me. Mummy will also be happy to see them. Or I could wear my clothes in the other wardrobe. Uh, I'm going with the polka dot foe today. This is Martha's trinket box. It could contain something that will help to figure out what happened. Okay. We got a lock ticket. It's July 18th. Cool. Love that for us. It's about half past nine. 9.30 in the morning. Great. I always keep my trinket box locked. Oh, gosh, if Mummy sees this picture, she'll throw it away for sure. It's me and Lapo. I want to see him as soon as possible so we can mourn Martha's death together. Ooh, that's embarrassing. When the we... butterfly collection that Daddy made for me. When we end up going to meet up with him, he's going to be like, I didn't know you were alive, and he's going to rat us out, guys. He's going to be like, that's fucked up. Nanny will be visiting me soon. I think I think we haven't thought this through. You know, the whole, like, nanny. It's me with the nanny. Well, maybe it was Martha. No one can remember. Hmm, okay. I'm already dressed. All right. Everything I need is always in my bag. You want to put that in Martha's bag? That's Julia's bag. Here you can find the objective that Julia always carries... With her along with any picked up items. Okay, cool. Objectives are listed in the bottom left. You should lose them. Try selecting the key of the map. Map, here we are. Okay. Looks like we're going into the woods. Objective. The camera. I like to always have my camera when you least expect it. Cool, so I got to get that. I must put one of my photos in this empty frame. The key to my trinket box. No, she replied to... Here is my diary. She said, my bag, and got it off of Julia's side, so... Martha's side is the other side. July 12th, 1944. This is a new diary. I don't give a fuck. Yes, Huey, I'll be right there. I'm just going upstairs to call Martha down for breakfast. Can't call me down, Mom, Fine, I'm deaf. I'm not sure we should let her sleep all day. What do you think? What did you say? Okay, okay, I won't wake her up. I'll, I'll just turn on her light. So when she wakes up, she'll know when to come down for breakfast. They really think I'm Martha and I can't hear them. I need to be careful not to talk or I will be in serious trouble. Dude, why? Just say you're the other one. 
So unnecessary. Did you even turn on a light? Wow. Nice Italian villa. <laughs> I gotta spring down there. Excuse me. It's locked. Strange. Why did they lock my room? Martha's breakfast is ready. We can go. Yes, yes. It's getting late. Did you leave the newspaper for Martha? You know how much she likes reading it. Yes, Irena. It's on the table, can't you see? And that camera? Are you leaving it there? Yes, Irena. Can't you leave it there for a few more days? Do you mind? It was for Yulia. I will take it away soon. I, I promise. The thought makes me so sad. Seeing it there is as if... I don't know how to explain it. All right, all right, all right. But let's go now. We have too much to do. We can't stay here all day talking. Dude, she's such a... Ugh. Mommy is right, though. Martha always read everything. It's me who will now read the newspaper instead. What a I'll nice little day. home. The funeral preparations will take them a long time. Everything is more complex with the war. Over the next few days, I will see little to nothing of them. Brutal assassination in San Casciano. Julia Kay, a young woman from a respectable family, brutally murdered near her home. Carabinieri investigates. A possible political motive emerges. Fake news, dude. Martha was not killed by politics or war. She was killed by something much closer and much less clear. I will find out the truth. Martha always reads the newspaper. I have to do the same as her so no one gets suspicious. Read newspaper. Additional info. It might be on the table. Gotcha. All right. So I have to, like, do things that are... Julia Kay. Distressed but supported by faith. Irene E. the mother, Erich the father, and Martha the sister sadly announced Julia's passing. The funeral will take place in La Romola. First improvements in food registration. Bread rations increased by 50 grams per day as of April 20th. A kilo more every month of soup ingredients. Reforms to the treatment of agricultural workers and an yes! unexpected distribution of jam. Yes! Firm bulwark even in the skies. 159 aircraft of the Germanic defense shot down in 24 hours. Major Russian operation northwest of Jassy. Enemy convoy lost in the Mediterranean. Two destroyers and six merchant vessels sunk. Can we eat? Chocolate. A privilege for few people in these times. I thought that was a fly. For Julia, to take more and more photos, Dad. Yoink. I can verify that the camera is still working by taking a photo. I could photograph a sparrow. There are so many of them out here. Can I eat first? Bread, butter, jam, and coffee. Martha's typical breakfast. I prefer honey and milk, but I will have to adapt to her tastes, obviously. There might be birds around the little wall in front of the house. I always put crumbs on it for them. What the f what in the villa, dude? We live in a nice little area. July 12th, 1944. This is can a new we not, I thought, can we not just like, let me read it, mom is thankful to pre, uh, to preoccup, thankfully to preoccup, all right, what is this? Daddy, the war and everything else, nanny gave us her house and she went to look after the mansion. It's weird being back here after many years. I remember nanny telling me the fairy tale of the lady of the lake. It's the one where few happy memories, blah, blah, blah. If I could get to see more Lapo more often, blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. What does this say? July 16th, 1944. 
There's something creepy about the woods. Every time I'm at the lake, I get a strange feeling. Maybe it's the legend of the white lady playing tricks on me. I get weird ideas. I think that there is this presence. Then I think I'm just being crazy. Anyway, crazy or not, I want to take some pictures. I'm not scared. In fact, I'd say I'm excited. I've made arrangements with Martha. She's coming to the lake with me tomorrow to set up two new cameras with timers, and we'll see what we can photograph. Not before a good swim, of course. To be honest, Martha doesn't like photography all that much, and recently she's gone off swimming too. But she does like spending time with me by teasing me. Then, when she gets bored, she disappears into her books, and I do my own thing. We feel right when we're together. Okay. So why did she drown again? You're about to use Julia's camera. It's a 1940s Rolly cord with 120 millimeter film. Cool, dude. Okay, no camera. Okay, cool. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? Bro, I don't are is this super is this necessary? Are you fucking joking? I don't f <sighs> Why? Excellent. I've taken the picture. Now it's straight to the dark room in the cellar to print it. I am super un Daddy recently became a enamored the German army. with that. He used to take pictures on the front lines, but now he gives me the materials to take photographs instead. Now that Martha is gone, only this camera can fix my ideas and my memories. I can't allow myself to forget. The basement, right? Down here? Oh my god. The reason I'm- We are so lucky. Okay. In these difficult times, pantries are empty and people are going hungry. Not us. But with a German general for a father, food is never scarce. Dude, where the f- are you fucking joking? You have a wine cellar. You rich as hell! Lorenzini haberdashery. Five meters of gray cotton fabric. Six meters of white linen fabric. Four meters of green satin. Delivered on June 5th, 1944. In the event of an issue, contact us on the number 6987. And this red fabric? It's not been mentioned. Could this also be one of mummies, or could the Love that pattern. left it here? What is that pattern called again? Like wolf something or another? Hound's tooth. These could be of use to me. Just stab them right in the neck. Mummy's sewing machine. She learned how to sew because nobody else could do it to her liking. Hard. Mummy's medicine. Will they do her any good? Our wine. Daddy is so proud of oh. it. 
Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just wine. Daddy set up his dark room here. He doesn't take photos anymore because of his work, but photography is still his true passion. I'm allowed to use the dark room when I want to. Wait, but... There are three baths when developing photos. The development bath, then the first rinse, and then the fixing bath. The second rinse is done directly in the sink afterwards. Okay. What are we, okay, to develop a photo, you'll need to use the enlarger. The enlarger is an optical instrument that allows you to pro... After shooting the photo, the film must be developed in several steps. Yeah, oh my fucking lord, dude. This is one of those games that's so technologically, like, uh, like so... I have to ask, is this actually necessary? Use the controls to move the paper on the bench over to modification. When these three circles are aligned, the picture is focused. Not a bad photograph. It seems that the camera works perfectly. Now I can take a self-timed photo for Martha's frame. I think my problem so far, and maybe they develop like a reason that you really need to have that level of fine control over developing photos or taking photos in the first place, but my an innate issue is like, it seems like a really in-depth mechanic for something that could be done with a point and click. And I'm not saying it's not important right now. I'm just saying that it's overwhelming for me who thought I was just going to play a horror game. This game is $30 or some shit. So, you know, maybe they got some good stuff going on in the, fu in the future. But, like, man. camera is set up with the self timer All right, let's go develop it. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right. It's always a thrill to develop a photo. Is it? You can't see anything Ew. at first, yet something invisible is captured on the back. I get kind of it. Ghost. Uh, it's, it's gonna, to I'm gonna bring it into focus. I'm gonna see my fucking sister in the background, and the game's gonna be like, no. That's why they used to photograph the dead. But nowadays, almost nobody does it anymore. Even if it's just a delusion, I want to photograph Martha. 
I want to have a small reflection of who she was with me. But I have to do it secretly or they'll think I'm crazy. Ready? Look how nice my smile is! So yes, nice! This is me. No one was ever able to tell us apart. But I never had the slightest doubt, and nor did Martha. It's strange how what identifies us most deeply is not visible to anyone. I got a good anyone. smile. Okay. So, maybe I was being melodramatic and was it was just a lot of dialogue because that Martha didn't take very long. But suddenly, a thought took control. The memory of that day at the lake was becoming more and more like a dream when, after awakening, the image becomes more and more faded. Could it be that the memories were a figment of the mind? Had I been the one that hurt my sister? I had always envied her, and now I had taken her identity. Pretty fucked up. I experienced a suffocating pattern of thoughts. I decided to go straight to the lake to retrieve the film rolls. They would tell a different story, I was sure. But deep down, I kept hoping they would confirm my fading memory. Of course the door is locked. The keys aren't hanging on the lock as usual, then they will be in Daddy's study. We live in fear now. My parents are not going to let me go to the lake anymore after Martha's death. So this is the right time. I need to know. The self-doubt I feel is eating me up. This lighter being right next to my left eye is pissing me off. Please. Wait, my sister's just dead in my own home? I liked watching Nanny as she cooked. I always picked up loads of techniques. New skin unlocked. Hell yeah, dude. The hand being so unsteady. Dude. It's like, I don't know. It's super delayed too. It's actually bothering me. Um, Dad's study, she said, right? Wait, what is this? Ah, yes. July 18th. Everything has changed. I feel like a different person. The best part of me left with Martha. My enthusiasm, my desire to live, and the will to joke around. I find myself alone, left to my own devices, confused with no desire. We get it. I read it. All right, dad's study. Studies in my head are usually on the first floor. That's my old room and it's locked. That one's locked. Okay, guess not. I'm back to the living room. Where? Dad? Dad? Is it downstairs? Object. How did it say to check objectives map? I left my old cameras at the lake. I should go and get them. They could contain important information. Go to the front door and go to the lake. To open the front door, you need a key. Find the key. Could be in dad's study below the bedroom. All right. And I got to put that photo in um, Martha's below the bedroom. Below. How many? F is this it? Here's the camera flash. Now I can photograph Martha even in the dark. 
dog. She's dead. All right, here are the invasion plans. Daddy stuff. War maps. I've heard everything will play out on this new defensive line. Well... Um, all right. Shall we get the fuck out of here? What is this? Dad's pain studio. My dad Hitler. All right, he's an arty. He's an artiste. God, it. Why is the lighter here? You guys hold the lighter like this. Just like hold it further away. Arm's length. This is literally at my like. It's. <laughs> The camera light can be used in very dark. Oh, no. The light goes into your eye, therefore you see more. Genius. <gasps> Thank God. Perfect. Now we can see. Oh, boy. It looks like it's a foggy day. All right. Time for me to just go to the lake, guys. Don't mind me. I'm just going to walk on down to the lake down here. Don't mind me. I'm just going to walk on down to the lake down here. My favorite kind of weather. Nothing bad ever happens. Idaho! Oh, wow. Hmm. I just feel like that's not part of a normal map. All right. Such a nice area, you know? Wow, such a nice home for me and my daddy and my mommy and my sister who's dead. But nobody knows that because they think I'm her. All right, I'm going to just basically follow this down. Go across the bridge like li Little Red Riding Hood. Wasn't there a Little Red Riding Hood? There was. There was a Little Red Riding Hood uh, over the river and the through night, the woods. This night scares me. In the dark, I can feel all the harm I've caused. It's getting closer with each step. I feel it brushing up against me like a cold wind. I hurt Martha. The closer I get to the lake, the more certain I am of this. How could it not be? I killed her to steal the love that everyone felt for her but didn't feel for me. How could I have done such a thing? Did you though? Did you though? I took a very indirect path. Why do I have to do this in the middle of the night? Oh man. Hello? Hello? Oh good, an opening. Oh good, a inexplicable cave thing that leads to the sewers, I assume. Another entrance, maybe? To what? What do you mean maybe? This is your home. Mom? Dad?
Mom? Doesn't seem very sturdy as a bridge, as far as bridges go, you know? If any crow hears me though, I'm not talking about you. You're cool. Crows never forget. They're very, very cool animals. Guys, I just feel like this is way too backwoodsy. Oh no, damn lamp. Luckily I still have my lighter with me. <gasps> well, she, I mean, that wasn't even subtle. She was like four feet in front of me. Hey, my sister, I just saw her right there. The cameras are somewhere around here. Hey, I found a camera. A shred of fabric here in the woods. How strange. Let's take a photo of two cameras left. looks familiar. Well, I'll tell you. Little Red White Riding Hood, right? Little Red Riding Hood. Hey, whose house is that? Little Red Riding Hood came over and, you know, what happened? And the the big old bad wolf found your sister, fucking killed her. Didn't eat her though. Weird, I know. Oh boy. One more camera to collect. What if I just got on this and left? <laughs> like, all right, guys, I just don't think I want to play the game no more. No way I set a camera up here for any reason. Yeah, I really am leaving these tripods though, right? That's it. I've got them all. Oh boy, can't These films are going to help me understand what happened. Of course they are. Now I should rush home to develop them. Can't wait to run home without any issues, guys. You guys ready? Oh, you guys ready for this? Right or left? Left. Is it getting darker? No, I'm Marth. I'm Martha now. Wow, she's so calm for being literally gripped by her dead sister. It's <laughs> left. Look out! Quick time, right. Look out! Left! Right! Left! I fucked it up, oh no! What? 
that. I'll find my way out of this eventually, guys. Just you wait. Any minute now. Woo! Can't believe I got out of there. Uh oh, I'm getting high. Oh god, I'm getting so high. All right, let's leave. Oh. Okay. Why am I four feet tall? Oh, we're home. So this is what is through the, oh, we're young now, I bet. She's fucking dead! What the fuck? What's the point of this? Wait, am I playing? What is the point of this? Oh, gross. I just hang out here? I don't really un- Hmm. So far, I'm not thrilled. <sighs> oh, yet another nightmare. She entered my dreams once more. I'm pretty well Maybe with this she game. Wants to talk to me. What am I saying? Fairy tales coming true. Did we? No. Look Did at I your. Feel... Look down. Look. Look. No. Look. No. These are the thoughts of a crazy look, person. You had a miscarriage. I'm not crazy. Oh, damn it! What's all this blood? I'm not due yet, and there's a lot more than usual. What's happening to me? Bro, that's like literally a lethal amount of blood loss. Than I, thought. I have to wash up and do what needs to be done. If I'm sick, I have little time. The truth awaits me. What the fuck? It must be hidden within those rolls. <laughs> okay. Um... Let's go with the black for today. What am I thinking? I would stain my clothes with blood. Well, that's why I chose black. What the hell? Oof. How wonderful the snow is. Unfortunately, it doesn't snow often around here. Okay. I mean, if we're in northern I Italy, yeah. I don't have the courage to use the phone. 
Not right now. But look at the numbers we got right now. We got the doctor right there who we should call because we're literally bleeding. Well, if I think I can go out in this state, Dad loves these prints of Florence. I find them a bit sad. Wait, what do you want me to do? I thought, oh, I got to clean up. Ah, yeah. Game, no way. All right, thank you. That's better. But I still don't understand all of that blood. That's never happened to me before. Bro, but just... I'm not going to tell my doctor. Otherwise, he'll make me stay in bed and rest. As opposed to what? You don't even have a fucking job. You're what? As opposed to what? Twenty-five ISO film. When the sun is high in the sky, it's perfect. Nice, love that. Oh, I already looked at that. General Edic K. New rules on curfew and women's behavior. German command of S. Vincenzo Atori. Telephone number one one eight five. God, thank God. We gotta lock the women down. They're ruining the war, guys. This is Mummy's jewelry. She wears them every day. Even though Daddy says it's impractical and dangerous to show signs of wealth these days. It is. As usual, she doesn't want to listen to reason and ends up arguing with Daddy until he goes to play war, as she says. There are more and more weapons around, and everyone is scared after what happened. Jesus Christ. Pervitin again. I feel like these pills do nothing other than agitate her. Pervitin? Let's look what pervitin is. Meth. Motivation. Romola, 15th of July, 1944. Dear Mrs. Irene, I'm writing to let you know that all is well here at the villa. Thank you for being so considerate and caring. I apologize for the simplicity of the housing you were forced to live in. I also locked the room where the little one used to stay as requested. I've left you the key. It is the one with the pink key ring. Try to stay safe. Best regards, Nanny. Why on earth did Mummy have that door locked? It was my room. What is she trying to hide? Dear Mother, This is hard, but I have something to tell you. I found out that Julia is pregnant. Go to the lake tomorrow morning at seven and watch her as she bathes. You'll see that her tummy is growing. Martha. What? I'm not pregnant. Why is everything becoming even more confusing? Not any more explanation, but instead I'm left with more questions. Here are my cards. Nanny and I always used to play with them. She would predict my future and I pretended to predict hers. The future was always good for everyone. Maybe when she read them, she saw my true future, which she hid from me. Or more likely, these cards are actually just a stupid game to reassure and deceive oneself with. Tarot cards, man! But deceiving oneself is sometimes necessary. How can we live happily otherwise? All right.
The solution is still far away. I must be patient and wise. But luck is not on my side, unfortunately. Cool. So, the tarot cards kind of key me into if I'm on the right track or not to something? Dramatic news from the countryside. Archbishop Toccarelli will protest with the French in the city for the raping being committed by invading troops. New ordinance for the safety of citizens. From this moment on, it is forbidden for anyone to leave their homes and walk the streets of San Cassiano. All windows, including cellars, house entrances, and doorways, must remain closed night and day. The population are advised to stay in their cellars, or, where these do not exist, churches and other large buildings. The patrols of German armed forces have orders to shoot at people who are on the street, or who are found looking out of their windows. Seems normal. I shall repeat for clarity. New ordinance for the safety of citizens. From this moment on, it is forbidden for anyone to leave their homes and walk the streets of San Cassiano. All windows, Question. including um, house entrances, what the hell? Must remain closed night and day. I'm just like kind of confused as to what the like motive of the story is, because I'm getting the idea that it's like an incredible, incredibly like shock value type type game. Because like. It seems like we're being set up that we it's got raped by like the house in just my underwear. The, by like the allies because we're underneath not the Nazi regime in Europe or something. Like it's like I don't know, man. I don't, I don't you know. The elegant dress. No, I'll never hear the end of it from mother. Shh, fucking then wear the blue again. I know I'm Axis Control to Italy, and Axis Control to Italy said that the Allies were out here invading and, you know, raping people. And since my dad is the German officer, I'm assuming that the invading country is the Allies. Mom? Dad? The superior commander of the German Federal Armed Forces announces, one, whoever is in possession of weapons or explosives not reported to the German headquarters will be shot. Two, whoever harbors bandits and or protects them and provides them with clothing and or weapons will be shot. Three, Whoever is aware of the existence of any rebel groups or even lone rebels without reporting them will be shot. God, it seems normal, guys. Italian workers in Germany. The following rules are in place for workers who voluntarily work in Germany. A commitment of a maximum period of one year before returning to Italy. Okay, cool, I guess. Um, what are my objectives? Develop the worlds of film, find the keys, figure out what the note is. Red room's downstairs, right? Arini. What? A lens and a roll of infrared film. They can photograph what the naked eye cannot see. Oh, great. I'm gonna find my fucking sister's ghost again. Why is there a lens? This lens increases the framed area. It allows me to fit more into the image. 
Holy fuck. With this lens, everything gets bigger. Holy fuck, Blue dude. Filter. Ideal for indoor photos. This is so absurdly unnecessary. Orange filter. When there is fog, it improves the image by giving it some contrast. With this lens, I can shoot very close up. Red filter for super high contrast photos. Unless the game is giving me a direct answer as to like I wanted to just get spooked. This I is literally a photo. Keep the volume down as I listen. I must go unnoticed. I am meant to be deaf after all. Ready? Julia. You ready? Sure, daddy. I'm good to start. I have already started recording. Oh, no, my voice will sound awful. No way, come on. Didn't you want to study singing anyway? No, 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 I was young and stupid when I said that. Okay, ready. Go. Oh, how nice. It's the rehearsal for last week's concert. I never heard the recording. But I was right, my voice is awful. Cannot be called singing. Anyway, it's time I develop these film roles. I can't wait any longer. I wish I could just stop time. These images could change everything. I cannot bear the fact that I may have hurt Martha. I would rather die. Come on! Damn my head and Show me something spooky lapses. or something crazy. It's such a pain not remembering. It's like getting lost inside yourself. Come on! Can't wait to do this three more times. Okay. Maybe I develop the ones that have like I just hit skip. Yeah, that one's I'm going. I'm Martha to shore. I'm trying to save her. My memories, although fuzzy, do match reality. I feel a little better. Now I can find out who really hurt Martha. Maybe yeah, I, I don't have to do all lady. of them. She might be able to tell me something. Is okay. this crazy talk? Yes, definitely. But like, what is this? What's normal about any of this? Maybe you have to be a little crazy to get anything done. Crazy? I was crazy once. All right, there we go. All right, that speeds it up. Too soon. What? Oh, fuck, I didn't mean to do that. I was just... Can I not develop it again? Rip. Oh, I can. I just have to do this again, yeah. Flight, thanks for the 28. Wicked, thank you for the 29. Royston? Royce Denda, thank you for the 20. Who 
here I was running toward the pier. Just as I remember. Yep. Love, love that. Alright, so I think there's probably one in four that are worth developing. <laughs> Where do we stand on the trumpet? I'm going to tell you right now. The uh the only the only brass that I like is the trombone. Yes, I've undressed and I'm about to dive in. This matches my memory. Probably like one more. Should I, I guess I should do this one, right? All right. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm desperate for this game to give me something. Has that always been there? Wasn't that back there? Wasn't the chair sitting right here? It totally was. This is the center of our farm, but since we moved here, it hasn't worked like it used to. Security matters, Daddy says. Okay. Great. The spirit of the... I gotta go to the lake. Great, cool. How are you supposed to be scared in broad daylight? Not just that, but like... How am I supposed to be scared when I've just spent the last 35 minutes doing absolutely nothing besides developing film? Like... there, Like, I feel no tension. I don't feel nervous. I don't feel immersed. I don't feel scared. I'm just like... When... Like, it's... Like... Uh... Like... I don't even, it, I think it's a, it's a horror game, right? I mean, I cut off my sister's face and wore it. So, I just was assuming, and like, I don't know. So far, it's been gross. But it's not been scary. I bet you there's a dead body in there. Hey, look, guys. SS helmet. German soldiers. Daddy ordered patrols to be carried out near the house, but how could they have lost a helmet? God only knows. Why so many flies here, brothers? 95% of users like it according to Google, so hopefully something soon. It just came out. Actually, hold on. That is a good question. Very positive. 334 reviews. Yeah, so it's it's popping off. Not trash is the number one most helpful review. Um I mean, I'm still down.
by just taking one more step. Yeah, I think maybe What's going on here. What are the soldiers doing? It's dangerous, I know, but I want to follow them and see what's happening. Verdammt. Okay. But I Oh. At least to make it easy for me to find. What the fuck? Oh, what? What the f game? Oh, game. Let me go back on the trail somewhere. This is the trail? Alright, go left. Let's go. Your handkerchief was the symbol of what you believed in. At least that is left of you. All right, but he was in a. But he was a. Wait, but a, okay, but he was a fascist. I don't understand. I'm so conflicted as to what the. P Dear Julia, are you surprised that I've addressed this to you and don't think you're dead? Everyone calls you Martha now, right? I know you too well. I can never understand why no one else can ever tell you apart. Not even your own mother and father. Martha is gone and I cannot reconcile myself. What the fuck? Du hast ein Mädchen erschossen, du Idiot. Scheiße, Scheiße, Scheiße! Was machen wir jetzt? Sieh mal, was sie um ihren Hals hat. Sie ist eine von ihnen. Es musste getan werden. Sie ist die Tochter von General Erich K., du verdammter Trottel. Sie war die Freundin von diesem... Oh, Arm. he was a resistance. He is part Arsch. of the resistance. Scheiße, lass uns abhauen. Aber, aber sie lebt noch. Sie liegt im Sterben. Siehst du, wo du sie getroffen hast? Sie ist bestimmt schon tot. Wir müssen jetzt abhauen, sonst sind wir auch bald tot. I'm dying, I thought. But strangely enough, I wasn't afraid. In fact, I was almost relieved. You're already dead in when the eyes returned, of your parents. I found myself once again in the midst of a bad dream. One whose meaning I did not understand at the time. Martha, I give you back your appearance? I give you back your appearance. 
Who the fuck says that? Alright, put her face back on. Dude, I, I'm so tired of this part of this. I get it. Show more close-ups of her face rotting. Pay the price? Nope. Now I see. Through your sisters were destined to die. Julia, the first sister, and Martha, the second. On Julia's day of departing, identical twins stood before me, impossible to tell apart. They questioned my presence, since they were still so young. Julia must come with me, I demanded. But they both claimed to be Martha. I explained that Martha's fate was soon to be the same, and their games were useless. I didn't have time for it. The war was keeping me busy. But they didn't concede, and instead kept insisting. Can we follow you together? No. Impossible. Are you sure Martha will die too? Nothing is certain in wartime. What if the wrong person went with you? Then you would have cheated death. One would die unjustly, and the other would simply be delaying her fate. They discussed amongst themselves, then hugged before one of them came forward. She stared in a determined, almost threatening manner. I guessed it was Martha sacrificing herself giving more time to her sister. But I stayed silent, not to reveal their failed deception. No one lies to the face of their own death. So I asked how their choice was reached. We do lots by throwing a medallion, she said quietly. They had trusted in fate. Oh, how naive they were. They knew fate plays by its own rules, which is true, but it is also my ally. Fate never would have allowed the wrong girl to follow me. In that case, my work was done. She must have been Julia. However, little to my knowledge at the time, that blasted medallion had the same name engraved on both sides. Martha's. So, my first assumption was correct. They were too damn smart, and had fooled both fate and me. One thing is for sure. 
I'll put things back where they belong. I will correct my ignorance and give fate back its blindfold. The animation on that part was good and the voice acting was pretty good. Um... Where do we go next? Uh, damn, this hurts so bad. I can hardly breathe. Every morning you wake up and you go over here. The first Red, red Riding Hood shit. What is this one? I don't know. What is that one? I don't know. All right, cool. Uh, I don't know if we're Martha or I don't know if we're Julia. The ceremony is today, so I need a suitable dress. Okay. I would like to spend a moment with my sister, just me and her alone, before people arrive. No, 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 my bag is not here. My diary. Lapo's letter. Okay. What? Uh... How is she? How is my daughter? Please, doctor. Please give me good news. It's a miracle she's alive, Eric, but she will be all right. The bullet passed right by her heart and exited her chest. Unbelievably, it missed her lungs, spine, and heart. She could have been paralyzed or Fucking died. how? But thankfully, she's fine. I examined her thoroughly. She didn't even lose that much blood. She was lucky. And you were lucky, so to speak. She was lucky that my wife went for a walk in the woods. Otherwise... Otherwise, she would have bled to death. Yes. I don't know what to say. All of this. This is like Tommy it's from the room voice much, acting. So much death and suffering. I did not hit her. Nothing I did more. not. Don't worry. Oh, either. hi, Ma. She's young, so she'll recover quickly. I'll be here all day anyway. Thank you, Doctor, for everything. Do you mind coming with me to pick my wife up from the cemetery? The funeral will start soon in the chapel. Of course not. Lead the way. You know, with all of these preparations for the funeral, Irina wants everything to be perfect. It's her way of coping, so she doesn't have to think about everything going on. She is a woman who has suffered so much. Maybe too much. Let me fucking out! Oh boy. All right. Violence against citizens continues in La Romola. And once again, General K's family has come under fire. Now it is the life of her sister, Martha, that is in danger. The blow from the gunshot in her back could have killed her. It is only by the grace of God that the girl is alive. The anti-fascist political motive appears to be the only reason behind the cowardly act. The New Zealand troops are advancing slowly. After the Battle of Poggi Ponzi, on the 18th, they are still far from the Tavernelli Val di Pisa. The German resistance on the Tuscan hills has been exhausting. I'm going to read the newspaper. I want to be alone with my sister, and I got to find my bag and the letter. For the invaders. Great, good, cool. Where, if you were a bag, where would you be? In mom and dad's room, probably? Or some shit? Where would you... No? Alright. Gotta find the bag, then gotta go down there, say goodbye to my sister, and then once we say goodbye to the sister, I'll figure out... What if the bag is here somewhere? It's fucking... It's not, alright? What do you want from me? 
Where would it be? There's my bag. Why? Oh, God. Is it in the bathroom? Let's hope Lapo's letter is in there. July 19th. I retrieved the cameras at the lake, but I had convinced myself that I was the one who had hurt Martha. So much so that when I had the rolls with me on the way home, I found myself in another horrible dream. I don't even remember going to sleep. As soon as I woke up, I developed the film. The photos confirmed to me that my memory of that night was correct. Don't care. Gotta go talk to my dead sister real quick, guys. Dear Julia, are you surprised that I've addressed this to you and don't think you're dead? No way, I gotta... Everyone calls you Martha now, right? I know you too well. I can never understand why no one else can ever tell you oh, apart. God. Not even your own mother and father. Martha is gone, and I cannot reconcile myself to that fact. I have to stay hidden, and sadly, I can't run to you. Even if I would love nothing more than to hold you tight and cry together. No words. I just want to be close to you. Can we meet? I'm done with the game. It's not for me. I'm not feeling it. I'm bored as shit. I'm sorry. It's it's so much nothing. Um, sure, it might be good. I just not at all what I thought it was gonna be. Um, Christ. Okay, I'm gonna play Elden Ring. <sighs> I'm sad too, cause like it's highly recommended. It's thematic horror. No, it's not because it's thematic horror. All right? Thematic horror, there's so many games that do really long, drawn-out, intense, escalating stuff. But 90% of that game is listening to the voice actors talk. And, and the actual part of being thrilled or scared is limited to, like, 10 to 15 seconds in between long, drawn-out stuff. Like, I don't even disagree that the, the Photog stuff I way blew out of proportion because it really wasn't that difficult. But it's like, I don't know. It's not for me. I'm good. I've already played Little Hope. The anthology shit? Like, that's a good horror thriller. Alien Isolation will forever be the best horror, psychological thriller type thing. I just, like, you gotta understand, like, I was absolutely interested in getting spooked. Like, that's why I was interested in playing the game. I'm not disparaging the game, it's just not for me. Um, and I know we've played Elden Ring a shit ton, but guess what? I love the game. But we're still playing variety games tomorrow. No, we didn't talk about Epic Acquiring Bandcamp. We'll talk about it tomorrow. All right, I'm going to run to the restroom real quick.
Uh. All right. I wonder if my heart rate will even go up with Elden Ring. At all. Probably not, because I'm so calm and collected. start ah! bugser thank you for the 31 months fantasy thank you for the 10 or 18 my bad donald doge thanks for the 12 months happy birthday to you big stretch martha is dead plot is kind of a cliche game i'm not gonna look into it I don't want to spoil it for anybody, and I don't want anybody to have their shit spoiled. I was, I was just like. going on mm. um. I've been using so much of my CPU Exit Vanguard. Why do I have that installed? Exit. What else could pass? Exit Xbox. Fucking exit. All of this shit. Steam. I'm going to just keep it off of, uh, uh, OBS when it launches and hope that that's the issue. Record your screen with your phone. <laughs> I've done streams like that. It just like distorts my... Um... No, my foot, puddles, my foot pedal is not plugged in. It just distorts my monitor too. All right. It's loading. That was 100% the issue. I guess it was just like a capture card thing. Nope. I think it crashed again. The crash on the loading screen. I'm going to hit my computer with a restart then. Maybe it's nervous. Oh, it's got a little performance anxiety. Oh. Wait, where'd my water go? Foot pedal's not plugged in. I took it out because we played yesterday. Martha took it? That bitch. You 
crash five times playing? Damn. Wondering, not trying to give shit. Why no shitty cooking for a bit? Because uh, I, I get asked this like every day. Because setting it up takes a disproportionate amount of time. And I have... Uh, I, I it, it takes too much. It's a disproportionate amount of effort to set up and, and, and do. Doesn't mean it's gone forever. It's just right now. It's not happening for a variety of reasons. This is a certified hash brown moment. What up, Corey? No, nah, it's not about a GoFundMe. It has nothing to do with that. It's like a real, real pain in the ass with the s stuff that I've got and the way that I have it set up. It's not anybody's fault. Ain't my fault. It will come back. This is, this is a certified hash brown moment. Nope, it is, you got, got, it has nothing to do with money. Literally, no Patreon, nothing. It literally has zero things to do with monetary value, right? None at all. Paying me more does not make me more incentivized to do shitty cooking. Nothing to do with that. <laughs> Launch, you son of a bitch, Elden Ring. I want to roll into a heavy attack. Whatever they're not giving you will double it. Shit, you drive a hard bargain, man. You drive a hard bargain. You gonna double zero? You gonna double zero? Tape a phone to your head and go live? <laughs> Ooh, this is looking better. It's not doing the weird... Uh, It's not doing the weird resolution distortion. I think we're good. As... Hmm. Uh-oh. It did it again. All right, looks like we're good. Hey, Crifty, thanks for giving a sub to uh, MX Penguin. Penguin, you better say thank you. All right, let me grab that water real quick. Are you fucking kidding me? Dude, what is going on with it? I'm going to unplug my controller. I'm going to... All right, somebody explain this for me real quick. I can't click on any of my desktop icons. Why? The explorer bar works. I can open up icons from my bottom bar. 
why can't I can activate? But why couldn't I? Why could I not? I'm gonna relaunch Explorer, I guess. Restart it. All right now, I can do it. Maybe I should launch Elden Ring and windowed. It's it's hitching when it loads into game, but it doesn't hitch in screen, loading into the screen, just loading my save file. I unplug my controller though, in case that changes something. Alt enter. All right, it's in windowed now. <laughs> nope. It crashes every time. <sighs> like, in general, probably not what you want to see. Elden Ring using 0% CPU. And then crashing. All right. Let's go and verify the integrity of the fucking game files. God damn. Taking L's after L's after L's today, chat. It's not great. It's not good. Let me put on music. NVIDIA drivers. Um, I think I have them. Fourteen. I have these drivers though. I'm gonna reinstall the drivers. The specs can't be right. Why so little SSD space? The specs are right. Why? Because I only play like, like, like what the fuck? Like the vast majority of the games that I play are like six gigs. L plus Dorado plus ratio plus chill. <laughs> I ain't got Call of Duty up here. Just also, I have another terabyte SSD, by the way. I have that's those were just the original specs. Eldorado. Uber noobs, thanks for the 56 months. Appreciate you. It's verifying integrity of the game files and installing the new 511.79 graphics driver that I actually already installed, but I have to uninstall. I mean, man, it is PC season. Yeah, I saw what you're saying, Pikmin. It's not a Windows 10 file integrity issue, I don't think. At all. 
But you never know. But I'm pretty sure I know. But you never know. Fairly certain that there's an issue with the uh, files. No, I hope I don't need to reinstall Elden. I'll cry. And before correct games file, well, it's a cloud save service, right? Or is it local? <laughs> is there a lot of yelling? Depends on the game I'm playing. Elden Ring? Probably, yeah. What up, Bruce? <laughs> How you been, man? Uh... <laughs> we can never actually attain it. That's true. I feel like this is going unnaturally slow for both the verif verification and validation of the Steam files and the graphics card. Uh, installation. 49729 fix the issue for me. No promises, though. Okay, if that doesn't work, then I'll reinstall that one. When are you back on PKA? Not for a while. My friend. Stereo Sven. Thank you, the eight months, though. Looks like we're 75% on this shit. Damn. Yeah, I, I I heard that they did make an update. Is this like what what's going on here? I swear to God, if Elden Ring returns back no bitches and no issues, well, that's not what you want to see. Finally, it's installing the drivers. I just don't want it to crash the graphics card, so. Installing NVIDIA Shield. Is that still a thing? Do people... <laughs> I remember when the NVIDIA Shield was a thing. Virtual host controller, okay. PhysX system, close, 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 close. GeForce experience. Elden Ring at 90. Seven. One file, fa oh, let's go! One file failed to validate. It's what you love to see, baby. Woo! It's a two gig file. What? Wait, no, you're just revalidating it. You fuck. seen a maiden I found Elden Ring yeah I don't actually know where I put that water uh, I'm gonna wait dude this is peeving me off right now I know it says three minutes and 43 seconds but um I just wanted to play the video game maybe drink minute maiden <laughs> good one chatterer 
I gotta tell you, this Apple Watch gotta be the worst purchase I've ever made because I've worn it three times now. I'm not. I'm realizing that it's really a watch that you're supposed to wear every day to get value out of it. But I live at home, so I don't have any need. It like my watch started to bug me, and it was like, "Hey, man, I just want you to know that you um, it's looking like you uh, you didn't stand up every hour on the hour." And I'm like, "Yeah, but I ran six miles," and it's like, "Hmm." I just don't think that's good enough. You didn't fill your ring. Like, all right, cool. Also, what I don't like is the fact that it even further pushes my cell phone into me. Like, it's like, it's like, hey, got a notification. You want to see it? You want to see it? All right, there it is. Hey, you got a notification. I know you can turn it off, but it's like, oh my god. How's the Overwatch CS:GO videos coming along? They're class i love them uh they're coming along great you know i haven't made one in eight months and i'm probably not going to make one for another two to three years so i'm um, glad you like it uh celtic thank you to 22 or celtic i don't know Depends. i'm hungry man but i'm going to dinner in an hour and a half i'm not even gonna get to play much elden ring fuck Hurry up! Delay dinner? I can't. I'm gonna go see somebody who I haven't seen in like four years. I'm gonna go have dinner with um, uh, a friend of mine who works at Monster Cat. Cheeky little Tarky raids? When? Tonight? No. Uh, tomorrow. What song is this? Oh, 1788L. Oh, it's just my like songs on shuffle. That's dangerous. Um, yeah, no, no late night. No late night tonight. Probably yes, late night tomorrow night though. Um, I think. Also, I'm not really in the mood to play Tarkov right now. Because Elden Ring's really got my attention. Night mode and Monster Cat? No. I mean, I don't even know how that what that would entail, but uh What up, CBJ? How you doing? 32 months, good to see you. Alright, please. Guys, if this crashes. I'm going to run my dick through a blender. These aren't download speeds. These are validation speeds. This would be almost gigabit. Come on, baby. Patch it. Oh! Good night, sweet prince. What up, Rezzer? Resurrect 07's in the chat. I will see you later. You know, probably a good time to get banned because truthfully, who knows if it'll only take 2 minutes and 28 seconds or if it'll drop down. No, you pump those numbers up. I want to see that bitch hit, I don't know, 180. Keep it going. Yes. 60. It's only going to be 2 minutes. It's fine. It's fine. 
The real thrill of Martha was fucking up your entire setup. I know, right? Are you planning on playing Sekiro after trying Elden Ring? No. What I think I may do is if we get, and I don't want to like speculate what I'm going to do after this because I really am enjoying it, but I think that there's probably an idea. Like there's, pro like there's probably, I wouldn't be opposed to checking out like Dark Souls 3, but I'm not going to go play the first two ever and I'm not interested in doing Dark Souls 3 anytime soon. I just don't want to, I don't want you to like think like, ah, it's coming this summer. Like, no. But I'm just saying I am more open to that idea now. I hope I'm coming this summer. They remastered the first one on PS5. Did they remaster it with all of its frustrating issues or did they remake it? Because that's what I was worried about. They remade it, then yeah, that could be fun. I'd be down to do that. Are you finding IRL maiden after ring? No. No longer. This summer, Boner plays Dark Souls Free. Demon Souls is remade. I haven't heard much about. Oh, that's what you mean. Yeah, I'd, I'd be down for that, maybe. It would have to come during a huge lull in games because of the length of those games. There's the same bug. It's basically the same game. That's fair. Only at 3 million streams. Damn. What? What are we doing? How many rounds of verification are there? There was the original one that identified a file. Then there was another one that was verifying the file. Another one that un that unpacked and now I'm downloading. Dude, I could have made dinner. At least it's flying at 154 megabits a second here. At least the game is using graphics cards now. What? <laughs> I'm going to say yeah, but I'm, I don't know what you mean. That was their pat that was in their patch notes that it wasn't using GPUs before? You're lying to me. Oh my god. Oh my god, it really is an awful port. I know why, I know. Oh my God, Jesus Christ. I'm running a 3080 that ye old hit streak doth provideth. Been getting some great use out of that. Only reason why I was able to play cyberpunk <laughs> was because of that. Everybody else was having an awful time. I was like, it's great. I don't know what you guys are talking about. The GPU expansion. Is Elden Ring worth the hype? I, it's an impossible question to answer because I don't know if you hyped it up to be the second coming of Christ or if you, or, or what the deal was there. I get to play 
play a video game! Oh boy, can't wait to use all my GPU processing power. Ooh wee. Ooh wee. Ooh wee. Anyways, daddy long neck. God, this game's so pretty. <laughs> um, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? I could go down here into the lake. I could go explore up here, but I can't figure out how to get down there yet. Uh, let's. I could go over here, but I felt like I was under leveled. I haven't gone. To okay, I haven't gone down south, so let's do that. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, oh God, Jesus. Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck. I hate being down here. I lied. I forget every time. Sorry. I'll just, um... Can I just... You got a staircase back here that you could just send me up? No? Young apprentice, you are a tough soul Shh. to become now. Don't care. Um... If I had a thousand souls, I could... Oh, my int's not ten. I could get this, though. But I don't have a glintstone. Um, is there a fast way out of here? Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> Anyways. Stop. All right. I would like to go down here. I have yet to be down. I need to take some of these off. That's west. Where? <coughs> oh. What? Where the fuck is the other one? Oh, it just disappeared. Oh my god, that was annoying. All right, anyways. So, I'm just exploring right now. I, for those of you that don't know, I haven't played uh, any Souls game before. And um, it is a learning experience. You know what? You guys get to live today, I've decided. But um, I am thoroughly enjoying it. Oh God. Oh God, please. I'm not good at fighting on horseback. I'll tell you that much. Jump, jump off. What the? <laughs> Anyways, first fight of the day. Doing great, sweetie. You're doing great. <coughs> Why is my neck so long? I get really self-conscious if people ask me about that. Me and my long neck brothers really have, um, whoa. Neil. We've really worked our asses off to be accepted in this realm. What's up here? Giraffe? Gang, rise up. Oh. All right, boys, listen. All at the same time, one at a time, whatever you're down to do, I'm down to do it. All right, I'll try anything once. So sneaky. Yoink. Guys, you don't. You're. Yeah, you're just. You don't have to fight me. You're just. A, you're just like. Oh. Seriously?
asshole. <laughs> this is just annoying. Hey. Thanks. Sorry. Move. Hey, you. Oh. Come on, hold it together, game! Ooh, ooh, ooh. You gotta be eating my ass. You know damn well I don't want to deal with that. All right, maybe that's not the easiest way up, but that's fine too. Don't. Sorry guys, I need your shit. I'm gonna just come over here. We're gonna do this thing. I'm gonna go over here. Ow. Uh, yep. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get out. You didn't realize Dark Souls was a 3D platformer? Oh really? That's one of the greatest things that I was mistaken on. Also, it is just. Nuts how big this place is. Everything you see, you can go to. Um, that said... Go to the other side. Looks like it's... Wait, is the other side where I fought the, the guy with the... Um, the fire? No, that was up north, right? Oh. No, this is like the same thing. For sure. But it's not. It's a different one. Uh, Forlorn Hound. It's going to be a doge. Is there a way to... Mm, whatever. I'll just go for it. Where do we go from here? How hard could it be, guys? Okay, that was pretty painful. Holy shit! Most of his shits are two attacks. Oh God. Oh my god. He's so strong. Oh, okay. Guess we're learning. Homie is out here swinging, slanging, fang dangling. Oh, thank God. Uh, hey guys, if you just don't mind me, I'm just gonna collect this and then we're gonna run it back for Jesus. How many times did it take me to beat Sun God? Teleport? Oh, I should roll through him. 
All right, so I, I okay. So when he when he does that, okay or not. I, I, it's three. Dude, he moves so weird. He like swings it. He, he like, it's like one, two, three, four. I don't know. There's a list of minor fixes that can help with stutters. Yeah, if, if you want to, go ahead and link it. Oh, I'll do that at a different. All right, yeah. Thanks for Lincoln. I'll do that later. I mean, I only have really bad stutters. I don't have really bad stutters as much as I thought I would. I don't know if that's a good thing, a bad thing, whatever. What the fuck? That's new! He's so hard to hit with my with my blood slash. I don't think I'm gonna be able to hit him with that. I gotta like stack. I can't like uh, with him. I feel like I can't light attack him a shit ton. I feel like it, well maybe. We grow. What up, Eric? We move. How you been, bud? This is 51. You been playing this? Right. Okay. If the if if I don't dodge, he goes full. I'm trying to What the hell? Like if I roll away, he... Like, oh my God. Finally. I got him. I feel good. I feel good. He's gonna disappear. I'm gonna, oh. Dodge, jump attack. Oh, I miss! Ah! Fine. One more hit. Ready? He's gonna, <laughs> okay, maybe not. Come me, come me. I said, come me! Ah! Come me! Ooh. Ah! Ooh. Ah! Ooh, 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 ooh. No! Hit him once! Fuck! It's fine. Mano y mano, brother. Mano y mano, all right? You already knew it was gonna come down to this, huh? Uh, uh. Okay, it's fine. Just heal up. 
Please! Yes! I knew I could do it! <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Not even close, baby. Never doubted. Never doubted. Ugh. Oh, that was close. What I get? Dexterity level 17. Oh my god, it's so good though. What's my dex at? I think it's at like 16. <laughs> Y'all mind if I find some grace over here? Just a little bit of grace. Any grace would be just fine. No. No, I don't want to use my assassin's approach. I needed that. God damn it. Um, all right. Well, let me let me go back to oops, excuse me. Let me go back to here, I guess, so I can heal. Ritzy. Thank you for the 38. It helps with the offline if you do anti-cheat off and yeah, nah, it's fine. Like I, I get it, I do, but uh, my gameplay is definitely not a affected enough to do that. All right, blood. How many maidens we had now? One maiden. To rule them all. Mono, m m m m mono made it. Yeah, it's multiplayer. I have yet to play with anyone. I kind of think that like playing with somebody might be fun, but at the same time, like I would not. That I don't think it would be for me. Like I'm really enjoying playing it alone. All right, new area. Never been here before. What's over here? Nothing. The edge of the world. Okay. You're the only person to say my name with the Forza T. <laughs> Ritzy? Is it Rizzy? I don't know. Oh, my bad. Sorry, guys. Did not realize that you guys were... Wow, that hurt. Hey, you guys mind if I come say hey? Hey, do you guys mind if I come say hey? I'm gonna come, I'm gonna... Oh boy. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, I'll leave. They won't be able to stop me. Ow. Let me just get off calmly, get up here, and just fuck, kill you guys, assholes. I hate this thing. Hate it! I hate it! I hate it! I thought you could break these.
All right, stop, dude. Dude, just lock onto him. I'm tired of this, all right? Let's keep going. Is there another, like, ooh, another stone sword key? There's nobody else over here? All right. Come on, let's go, kids. I'm down to touch some grace. Ah, that is not a head, weirdo. Man, he died so young. Why does this look so ominous? Maiden? Hey. Sadness. Angel ahead. Be wary of sinner. He killed her and then died. Hello? Is somebody there? Oh, she's blind. Might I bend your ear for a moment, please? Bend away. My name is Arena. I've escaped from Castle Morn to the south. The servants there have rebelled. I... I can't be sure what it is. My eyesight's been weak since birth, you see. But I swear I heard frightful howling from all over. My good father secreted me out the castle, but decided himself... He shit to you out the castle? He says it's his duty. As commander... Okay. I... I fear for father's life. The servants are full of wrath. Filled with hatred for every one of us. Why? This come for every one of the companions I escaped with. They haven't spared a soul. I fear it's no different at Castle Morn. Please, I implore you. Would you mind taking a letter to my father? At the castle. My soul wishes that he escape. Even if his honor should be the price. Please. I, I just want him to be safe. I guess. Thank you. Dearly. Then please, take this. Thanks. Go, Arena. Or as I like to call, Arena. I want to go up there. This game does make me, like, want to just scale mountains. You know what I mean? Ooh. Maybe... Not a, it's not a horse, it's a goat, is it really? It's a horse. Oh boy, what bad could happen here? <laughs> Too many messages here. <coughs> Why? Is this what you were afraid of? This? Really? A lot of dead people. Look at all the wolves. Hmm. All right. Hey man, what happened? Oh, these things are annoying as fuck. Right. And there's a lot of them, huh? Maybe we should just be extra quiet. Maybe we should be extra quiet.
They're they're lichens? <laughs> no, they're just dogs, right? I don't care. What the fuck is a lichen? Who knows what a lichen is really? What really is a lichen? I'm ready to spank some bitches. Never used a mace before. What the hell? Uh oh. Oh. Ew! You're weird looking, bro! Ow! Ow! I'm stuck against the fucking... What the fuck is that jump range?! What the fuck?! Jesus Christ. Not that cool. Won't lie. Um, so lichens are just what? Like half human, half thing doge what you have another armor slot for a talisman oh you're right oh boy you know i like my jump attacks beetle Halt! Um... I'm gonna just get on the horse and then get the map. Hey, only! Thanks for the 12 months. Also, welcome back. Nice. Castle looks on fire. Not nice. What? Whoa! Hey, we can... can talk about that right that's way too big for an arrow all right this guy's got aimbot i'm not even visible look at him this dude got aim all right Man, what are those, jellyfish? Fucking jellyfish. Ah! Wait! Holy shit! Not what I expected! I thought he was 
was hurt! the worst guard ever. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking garbage. Why is it always a weak foe? Yeah, that was weird. Big arrow, though. He's just a gate guard. My dex is 15. What did I need for the... Um... Eighteen? Seventeen? Okay. Time for rolling. Hey, Jinx had a cannon like that. Hey, look, guys. Hidden path ahead. Why was he in combat? Looks like we're about to tussle. I hear shit happening. Yeah, this looks... Oh my god, I knocked the shit out of him. Okay. So, here's my question. What's the sound? Here's my other secondary question. What killed y'all? Oh, that was not what you wanted to see. Okay, all right. Oh my God, oh my God. I see. They're just going to be very difficult to handle one at a time. And all together, it is dangerous to do that. Imagine having throwing knives. I do. But only six. Blood, happy 47 months. Next month is your birthday, true. Seek friend. Dude, what a throw.
Oh god, I'm too close. Oh god. No? Can I get this guy? Oh no. Oh god. Ow. good sick how many do I have one more all right hopefully the rest will be manageable these guys I can do let's go collect our souls real quick that's embarrassing Dogs, guys, guys, do damage. I have one, I have so many left. I'm gonna, I'm gonna urgent heal. And then I'm gonna crouch around maybe? That noise is pissing me off. I don't know what's doing, what it doing. Noah, I'm glad you suffered through this game. For me, since I don't like Souls games, really means a lot. Yeah, I'm doing it just for you. Happy birthday, bud. Uh-oh. That guy. Uh, happy birthday. Hopefully, you are sticking around for more than five years. Feels birthday, man. Um, okay, I guess I should just run up and kill this guy and then get aggroed. Oh my god, nice job, Doges. Oh, what the fuck? Oh no. It's fine. It's fine. I hated these guys, truthfully. No, my long neck guy! Poor dude. Is there any, like, Rip. This guy is the last one in this area. I don't want to fight him yet. I was going to jump up here. Y'all got anything good over here? Armament ahead. Item ahead. Ooh. Relic, thank you. Claymore? Oh my god. Does a lot more damage. I gotta put the other um, Ash of War or whatever on it. All right, there's a guy running from up here. Why? Sorry, man, I tried to save you. Visions of sadness, Elden Ring ahead. No way. Claymore and Bastard Sword are iconic Dark, Dark Souls weapons, really? Sick. All right, there's tussling going on up here. Mm. 
My kill. Hmm. You're more annoying. You're more annoying. There you go. Oh, wow. That was convenient. Somebody else is shooting at me. You? Don't you dare. I forgot that I have the jumping attack buff. How many hours do you have played? Like 15, I don't know, 20. Equip a bow to fire arrows. You can fire two type of arrows and choose from a runch wielding a bow with two hands. Hold LB for provide. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna do bow shit though. Okay, that's cool. Why did that pop up though? Was it, did I just miss something? Rip. I, I like, I'm not a bow user. But okay. All right, we got some flying ghoul boys over there. More ghoul boys over there. Let's go back. I feel like I should go back down and kill the potato head, but the enemies respawn down there now, haven't they? Yeah. All right. We keep going until we die, I guess. Oh, I picked up a crossbow. Oh. You know, that makes a lot of sense. It just do. Lame? What's the point of this area if it's to turn, turn back? Oh God. So down again? Feels like I missed something. There's no way it, well, unless I was just get the item. I have enough souls to rank up, I think. So I kind of want to, there's a jump off. Fall damage is generous. All right, I'll trust y'all. Oh my god, fuck off! Alright, there's groups down there. Let's just wipe out everybody up here then. Only one? Oh, only two? Oh god. Wait. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Hmm. No. Don't like that. What? What? I... Oh, eat a dick. Holy fuck! There goes all them souls. Gotta grab that crossbow time, I guess. I guess. I gotta go so far though.
Oh, you're right. Good call. I should set it back down. All right, so I can't call in my horse. So should we just sneak? Mono e mono. What the fuck did I just do? That was sick. That was cool. What does it use? Stamina? No, it used my MP or whatever. Oh, this is the ladder. Well, that makes things quick. Give me back my shit! I'm gone! Loser. All right, well, then. This is where I am now. I probably got to get over here. I found these two parts of Grace. I kind of want to go explore over there. So I'm going to go teleport back to here and then go explore to the east. Have you upgraded your weapons? Not that one. I just got that one, but yes. Otherwise, yes. All right. Where's the de- wait, I thought I got this dude's weapon. Where is it? Right, let's go south and then west.
Yeah, they got Wolverine claws. Uh, I used them for a bit. They were fun. Can I not? Do you think I can go? I gotta be able to get up there, right? Ah. A little hardcore parkour. Or not. Easy there, little guys. Rainbow stones. What do you use rainbow stones for? God, I hate these dogs so much. Oh! Be wary of high spot. Praise the grace. Be wary of high spot? Talking about like up up on the mountain above? Hey, be wary, don't get too high, okay? More lichen thingies. I guess. Dogs are afraid of torches, are they? Noted. Uh, what do you use? The poison flower things. Cool. Love that for us. Really love these things. I'm definitely not going to fight those. Huh. String. Huh. Gold tinge excrement. Perfect. Really nice. What are you guys doing? Okay. Keep you all in front of me. Why are you guys trying to circle me? Stop! Ugh. Stop! Literal shit item. More? Dude. All right, so what are these things? These aren't like the, are, are these the same thing that I was fighting? Lichens or whatever the fuck? They're just running around in circles to piss me off. You got wood. You're not gonna, you're not gonna win. No, they're not. Demi-human. I see. Oh. Hmm. Quite a few of you. Oh shit, I can't summon him. I didn't realize that. Oh my God, you're trash. Absolutely garbage. Uh, it said try jumping, right? Try jumping in here, like with these boys. Jumping required ahead in here. Oh! Why, hello. It's 
So this is a little money, mini boss, right? Probably. Or not. Shield of the Guilty? That's pretty cool. Oh, this, yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't think I will. It's a sex dungeon? You guys are having some good sexes. Um, I guess we go up? I don't even know where I am right now. I'm just exploring. This is a ruin. <laughs> like a one tree zero. What the fuck? Hey. Stop. Whoa, you look sick and weird. But sick. Mostly weird. Like little tree, little ants. Got a little sunflower though. What's that good for? I haven't actually looked at these in a while. You can safely jump into those from high places? Yeah. Finn, don't use colored text. Crafting material? Gotcha. <clears throat> All right. Uh, so this is this goes across here. There's like a dungeon. I I guess I'd be down to try that out. What the fuck? I got a different pair of boots for every day of the week, true. Christ, I have no timing with this guy. I got rolled. Rainbow Stone is smart places you've been or if you drop it from a cliff it breaks, the drop is fatal. Gotcha. Wait. I did get bullied. It's okay though. Wait, it's just the, wait, it's right here. <laughs> ha! Ha! Huh. Idiot. Then where? So this has got to be. Oh. I see. Do I see? Yeah, fuck it. I think I see. Hmm. 
Or maybe not. That is a lot higher than I thought it was. Damn. How the hell? So I have to go through there? Yikes. All right, we'll make a run. We'll make a run through it. Oh God. I thought that was not that far. Hey, look, I was just quickly delivering the runes to myself. Duh. I thought it was like this height. Wait, where is it? Wait, what? Oh, they don't land where you, oh. What's up, Sergeant? The red, yeah, the red ones, you just see people dying and you're like, all right, cool. It's helpful. I didn't realize how helpful it would be. I mean, most of the majority suck. Yeah, that's for sure. So I have to go through these guys. And then... I probably have to jump. I just don't want to jump and then be stuck out there. Oh, no, no, it's right here. Hell yeah, brother. Oh! Got it. <laughs> All righty. Something incredible ahead. Oh boy, I can't wait for something incredible. Down. Yeah, don't mind me. Right there. Fuck is this? Come on! Wow, a lot of dead people right here, huh? And then they jump. Nice. One enemy? Oh man, more than one. Be wary of group down there, no problem. 
Okay, this guy over here. Oh, shit. He seems pretty strong. Uh-oh. My fucking blade is so dull! Because I just decided to hit him 500 times and the wall. Ow. <laughs> Ripperino. Try range battle. Yeah, one, two, three. Maybe one close. Nah, that's fine. I can just. Oh, four. Alright. Well, what if I just did this? Kill him. Immediately heavy attack him. Yeah. All right, or not. Oh. Oh. Not bad. Not bad. Hey, can I borrow some of this? Thanks. Two-hand stops the bounce back. I didn't even realize I wasn't using two hands. Oh. Ow. No tunnel ahead, but a bunch of dead guys. I didn't even know this was a thing. Somber smithing stone? I didn't even know any of these, any of this was a thing. <clears throat> I feel like I've been missing out on a bunch of shit. Uh oh. Say somber smithing stone, stone five times fast? No, I can't. I can't, okay? Exalted flesh, love that for me. Did I have more places to go down here? I did, I haven't fought a boss, right? Surprise, there's no big chunky boys, just the mining crew. Oh, my sweet summer child. But what do you think is gonna be down here? Wow, this place is big. Oh shit. That guy just comes in here and slams him home? Yoink, a little soft cotton.
Oh. That wasn't that bad. I thought they were like the other annoying guys who I would have trouble fighting. That was fine. That was completely manageable. Nice roll. Pretty sick. Later, most. Arteria leaf? Boss ahead. All right, here we go. Hello, my lady. Hello, my... Before I go that way, let's go this way. All right, I don't think I've ever seen or been down to like the boss level of this kind of shit, so. Ooh, slow door means good things. Scaly misbegotten. It's time. Yes. Big ol' anchor, Mo. Oh my god. So what... What do I really need? For this. Oops, shit. Strength 26? Nice. Oh fuck, it's 6 already. Oh, this sucks. I can't believe I spent, like an hour doing test runs and stuff. Um, all right, well, I'm gonna bounce. I have a dinner that I have to go to tomorrow. We're playing variety games, and then after variety games, we're playing more Elden Ring, so get used to it. That's just the way we're gonna do it. I think tomorrow we're also gonna do an extra long stream, so get used to it. What's this? But, um, Thanks for chilling. Sorry the game, sorry the spooky game wasn't very spooky and shit, but um, enjoy the rest of your night. I'll see you guys. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll talk to y'all later.